Boys Night. <laughs> get a get a stream deck there, bud. I'm gonna get a stream deck. I'm gonna get an Elgato TM stream deck. I'm gonna get Elgato lights, and I probably will eventually move this whole thing into another room. That's probably what's gonna happen. Just, We're not gonna be in this outdoor, yeah. indoor. I actually really like it because I like being by the windows and <laughs> like seeing sunlight and stuff. The oh, casting sunlight. atrium. That's what this is. I like seeing sunlight. I don't uh -huh. know. I've always liked seeing. Don't you guys like seeing sunlight when you're playing video games? Um, it reminds me of what I'm missing. So no. Absolutely not. No, I. <laughs> no, it, it is. Right. So okay. it is a constant reminder <laughs> that you have you have evolved. You don't have to be out there under the burning radiation of yeah, the fucking like, sun. Screw that big ball. Wait, is, yeah. that, is that true? If we wait, we've evolved. If we don't see the sun, I love being shown. Yeah, I love being shown outside's beauty and being reminded every second that I can sit inside and behold. Like I get both. If the sun's shining on you inside, I think you guys are both wrong. You didn't, no predators are going to come after you. Like, you just get a tanning bed, like a standing tanning bed. And then there's literally no reason to go outside. Oh, I wouldn't need anything. A yeah. standing tanning bed? Yeah, padlock that thing shut and throw me in the basement. Inject vitamin D before every <laughs> drip stream. Yeah, an oh, IV drip. Is she going like to run like a horse? I mean, it says furry level. Oh, I've seen, I've seen something like this. Why? Oh, that can't God. Be. <laughs> this has got to be some Boston Dynamics <laughs> stuff, right? What? Mm. Why? I used to be able to do that when I was a kid. Whoa, she can gallop? Yeah. Whoa, wait a minute, she just looks like Gollum. That's just gotta hurt. Do you guys, you guys were on the internet in like 20, or 2004, right? Of course. Yeah. Of course I was. Yeah. Do you guys ever feel bad about the way that furries were tweeted, treated in the 2000s? No. I don't remember no? how they were treated in the 2000s. Yeah, what they were bullied pretty hard on the internet. Uh -huh. Were they? You, yeah. It's, they've become more... Uh, well, socially accepted now. I feel like they still get bullied quite a bit. They get, I, think, I was going to say, they, they yeah. get bullied all the time. I think we discovered the goalposts were much further out than just <laughs> yeah. furries. So yeah. the, by comparison, everything yeah, kind they, of mellowed out. Everything <laughs> truncated a lot down. Is there anything we're allowed to make fun of anymore on the internet? Anything. Because mm. we're not allowed to, I mean, like, oh. I'm, like I'm not going to go through the things we're not allowed to make fun of. Because, <laughs> because basically, that's everything. So well, you're basically asking, like, is there one thing that, that no one will can, ever have a problem with? I mean, with? pedophiles, right? We yeah. can still make fun of pedophiles. Mm -hmm. But some people, you, you got to walk a fine line. And I say this having joyfully represented one. <laughs> okay, there's a long before. pause I really for whatever worried, that was going to be. I was really worried about what he was going to say. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I, uh, but no, I, I have had jokes about that, uh, or any reference that it might exist, or that one, you know, m might be joking about, like, playing a bad character, but joking about liking it. Oh, and, I see. Well, that's yeah. hopefully that's that always sunny, sense. or like, yeah. Seinfeld. But there are, there are people who, even the representation of it, it bugs them, so they're like, you shouldn't mm. do that. So. Yeah, even mentioning it is like a is a no no. Somebody said uh, we can make fun of Fortnite. Yeah, true. Fortnite is Fortnite's free. free game. Um, uh, it is less than free game. We're allowed to make fun of Hitler. Hitler. Yeah, yeah although Nazis are more relevant again, so there's like you know depending on how you contextualize it, it could be. Well, I'm still gonna make fun of it. Yeah, I I think that's totally fair. <laughs> I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> um, also, boomers. Boomers are always fair game. But that ran its course. <laughs> It's played yeah, out now, it right? It ran its course. It ran its course very I quick. guess it's still fair, but it's not cool. Well, the good thing is the boomers don't know it's happening because they don't know how to use the internet. So it's like there's a whole... Although it has started to permeate real society. <laughs> they know how to use the internet. They make memes. They yeah. Oh, boomer memes are great. <laughs> I know. Oh, can we just look up boomer memes yeah, specifically? On. Once the brands get into it, though, it's done. Yeah, no, and that's fair. They did. They did all right. Quickly. Oh, my. oh, like Facebook memes, basically? Elders react to boomer. Oh, <laughs> to OK know. Boomer. Okay. I don't want to see what any of I want to see elders react to boomer memes. Like, I want to see, like, boomers I react mean, to content specifically made for them. That's just them genuinely sharing it on Facebook. Yeah, true. Like, uh, yeah, like, that's a scrolling through Facebook. This is a boomer meme here. Bet you wish you'd sang God Save the Quinn. Now you... Whoa, whoa. That's a boomer meme. Oh, that's a boomer meme, all right. tossed over here. Oh, yeah, this isn't YouTube. We can say bad words. Oh. Ooh! I mean, it'll be, on, it'll be on YouTube. Ooh! Well. Um, it's going to be on YouTube also. Yeah, oh. We should be able to afford a house of 20 because we bought one for 11000 Okay, boomer. Wait, oh, so that's, that's... Yeah, wrong. Okay. I think you just want, like... like I think if you just say boomer... That, this is a boomer one. Yeah. I tell it like it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's relatable. Uh, yeah. I, unlike other people of my generation... Tell it like it is. I tell it like it is. I'm a straight shooter. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. My favorite thing. My favorite human thing. Mm. Is assuming that your one path through this life has qualified you to judge everyone's yep. path, no matter what it is. I love it. Well, Old people, man. We're all allowed to judge everybody all the time, because we all know the way everybody else lives yeah. all the time. Yeah. I've seen five episodes of Mandalorian, asshole. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> oh man.
Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> it's been a while since saw, we talked. Saw Mandalorian. I know. Oh, uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen the latest episode. One came out today. I, I love that no, show. No, it hadn't come out today. Did no, it come out today? Is that Wednesdays? Thursday night. Thursday night. It's Thursday night. Thursday night. Yes, like I have. I am caught up. Thirty-ish. Cool. The reason I know that is because I'm generally up. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting there with my Disney Plus up and waiting <laughs> to go. Yeah. Doing squats. I, I will say <laughs> working on your cardboard Mandalorian. I don't want this to become a, a Disney Plus promoted stream, so we're not. I don't. I don't know if we should like go hyper. Into, I mean, we I, could we if we want have, to. No, no, we don't have to. But um, I. Uh, I actually love Mandalorian specifically because, or at least the first few episodes were my favorite because they they touched on so many elements that really felt like they're inspired by Knights of the Republic. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys yeah. thought that at all when you were watching it, but like uh, there definitely seemed to be at least some writer in the writers room that that came from that game because they huh. they definitely seemed to, to uh, just well, like some of the thematic elements. You've and, like, been playing the, through it, right? Uh, yeah, I played through so, it. So like that's why I wouldn't ah. I wouldn't recognize it off. Of yeah, I, I haven't played it since what. 20? 20 years? No, yeah, like 15, really? 18. Oh, you should revisit it. It actually it's holds so up. Old. It yeah. holds up pretty well. I mean, that's classic Bioware before they got... Before they before they sold out. I don't know. know. I I said <laughs> I said they got bad a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you did? When? I've been banging that. Jade Empire was their first bad game. Well, it, was it their first game? Kotor, Kotor Two Jade was Empire. No, it was uh fucking. It was a mech game in like oh, the yeah. late nineties. Kotor Two was also not very good. I I actually yeah, I will disagree with that. that was disagree with that's that. fine. You can disagree with me. Yeah, but it's not a very good it's game. It's a very different game than Coder One. It's it not is. Bioware. Um, it's not Bioware. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's true. Yeah, that's what was that? Was that? Uh, no, it was Obsidian slash Black Isle. Oh yeah, it was Obsidian. It, it, that's true. I like Obsidian too. But were they Obsidian back then? Can't remember what they were Wait, called. Where, I thought Bioware was, was involved with that one. No, were, I don't remember. They ran out of time. It was like not finished. Yeah, it was definitely not finished. But and there was a lot of reading. Oof. Yeah. You can get Anthem for ten dollars. Which Hunter says? Sick. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Is Anthem still going? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Anthem's still going. It's, uh, it's one of those things, though, that they're going to do. If if they invest money in it, it'll be like Battlefront 2. Because, like, uh, now's the time to play Battlefront 2, Kraken. I hear it. It's real good. Battlefront 2 has, has gotten better ever since it's real fun. their initial they were giving They were giving triple XP over the weekend. <gasps> Whoa. So what do you get for leveling? Um, well, so no, at this point, if you want to level up all the dumb, stupid cards mm-hmm. and the dumb, stupid weapons, you can do it in, like... 20 minutes oh. playing against robots so you, oh. don't have to, you don't have to worry about playing against that was the problem before is you couldn't earn anything play against robots pretty much uh, you can do everything now against robots okay so um, I don't have to talk to anyone so you don't have to talk to anyone if you don't want to that's why it's awesome fun. I, want to, I can live my fantasy of being can I play Darth Vader yes okay they made Darth Vader playable uh, Darth Vader's been playable yeah. for a real long well time. at the very beginning they were like you gotta pay to get Darth Vader it's like, not that's anymore that, they cha- they actually I, ch- I bet they changed that real quick they changed that real quick yeah. um, but now the game is actually a good game However, it was given two years of development time. Yeah, well, that's, so, that's great. I mean, I think a lot of great games come back around after, you know, given more time. They do. They do. Does EA get any credit for that? So, I, 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 think they do. I think they should. They should. Yeah, they, I don't I, think people get do because they No one's ever going to bring that up. But, yeah. And also, Jedi Fallen Order, there's no... Well, I think you, there's, like, you, you can buy some skins. But there's no, like, loot box, anything. It's just I think game EA you buy should, and you play. I think, I think EA should be given credit for that I think well. so. Yeah. I think so. My, hey, my unpopular opinion good is work. people give EA a Just got a new shit. job as a tennis like, coach at the it's, old it's place I used to. Somebody's yelling at us through. Train, so mm-hmm. figured I would pay it forward. Oh, well, thank you. Shoot. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't I think EA should be given credit for Fallen Order, for not meddling in Fallen Order, and then also for investing in Battlefront 2 for so long. That's mm-hmm. pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, okay. like, okay. and they and they gave uh, Apex guys their uh, okay. their shot, right? And they gave Apex, Apex guys their shot. I, I I know it's not popular to be like, hey, EA's not so bad, guys, but e- parts of EA are not so bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's it's true. The other parts of EA are really bad. <laughs> it's like they have the same batting average as any other publisher. It's just for some reason they got shoved out in front uh, mm-hmm. for everyone to like point and laugh at. Well, it's because they were. I mean, I think they're one of the larger video game companies, right? Yeah, and they don't really have like other than Take Two. Maybe. They haven't done a whole lot of work on their like image, if that makes any sense. Other other game publishers will like have a, a face of the company that is pretty good at handling that stuff, or or they'll like express some amount of levity or personality. Yeah, it's pretty buttoned up. So it's like Activision. But, yeah. Uh, UB puts out quirkier, weirder games. Uh, Blizzard has they've started anointing like developers, so well, Blizzard, you can't get mad at Jeff Kaplan. Blizzard's Blizzard's going down a path I can't follow. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah Diablo like, Four, Bruce. There's a lot of things that they're doing that I'm like. Oh! I keep kind of like pushing myself away from the Lilith. further and further. She's here! I mean, I'll play Diablo 4. In like four years or whatever. I mean, whatever. That's exciting. Jeff Kaplan's great, but 
I am never going to play Overwatch ever again. Overwatch 2. Really? Overwatch 2, I might. Put what, did, two what did Overwatch ever do to you? It was never fun. I went back and wow. realized it was never fun. Wow. I, I had played thousands, probably thousands of hours of that game. And I realized over the course of time that I was not having any fun. And it only made me upset. Huh. And like even playing other competitive games like Apex and stuff, I had fun playing Apex. Because mm -hmm. I've gotten competitive in those games too. Overwatch just didn't have any fun. The last year I played it, I had any fun. Every time I stopped playing, have you ever thought about that when you stop playing a game and you go, did I have fun? Do you think about it? Do you think about it? Yeah. And you go like, ah, you know what, I didn't have fun. Like after like the sense of accomplishment like dies down, you're like, did I actually enjoy that experience? Did I enjoy that yeah. experience? And like Fallen Order huh. is like amplified it for me. When I thought about it more, I was like, wow, I really enjoyed that. Like yeah. I really enjoyed that. Overwatch is exactly the opposite. I would like go to bed angry. Mm. Yeah, it Overwatch. is. it does farm anger <laughs> pretty pretty well it really I mean, does. i think it's fun with friends i've always like enjoyed oh sure that dynamic yeah but i mean like playing it alone <laughs> oh yeah well that's a lot, a, games, a lot of games player games what a nightmare yeah like, i couldn't imagine playing like counter-strike alone oh. i played it, uh thousands of hours of counter -Strike. well yeah but like i mean i guess that's a different kind of person you know that enjoys this kind of games yeah i mean like but again i think maybe counter-strike counter-strike was less toxic there were times that you could get into a game and like if you got it was never like Overwatch it was a feast or famine it was like either mm -hmm. like you just got destroyed for, yeah. for two hours or yeah. or you played and you were like you destroyed everybody else now t the feeling of beating everybody in Overwatch never felt as good as any other game that I played and I don't know why I'm not sure I, I think it was the the anger outweighed the the, the, the fun mm -hmm. for me I don't know I have a theory yeah Tell I me. think uh, and this is some like sometimes Overwatch felt very similar to League and that League was the same way. I felt yeah. the yeah. same way about League. I would yeah. say yeah. fall in the same boat. For me, at least, yeah, for a team-based game, especially when you don't know who you're playing with, it's so hard to isolate what you did right and what you did wrong in the sea of your teammates' performance. And when you want to find things to improve, to me, that, that is what takes the edge off of failure, is having clear feedback about what I did wrong or what I can try to do better next time. And then comparing those things and noting any kind of improvement mm. is how I like derive satisfaction from games like that. Yeah. Yeah. But boy, it just gets so fuzzy in a game like League or an Overwatch, yeah. where you can have the game of your life and it can be the worst game you've ever played. Yeah. And you like, can play terribly and have an amazing game because everything just seems to fall into place. Yeah, there's so many different factors of your teammates, the other, the opponents, RNG elements. Um, and that's why I guess people like pick a team and stick with that team because you're like, I can trust that you will be able to do at least this well in this lane therefore there's like no unknown factor there and my you know i can focus more on my own thing i i envy esports teams for that very reason mm -hmm. because it's a bunch of dudes that got to get like it takes i don't know if so you, long to get there though to have everyone have that mastery of the yeah. game to have that no it does that vocabulary. But have you ever played on like intramural anything like basketball softball mm -hmm. volleyball nothing like that okay so like it's great because i did this i did softball for years with the same team for like five six years and it was awesome because you could rely. You knew that you knew your teammates' uh, strength and weakness. Yeah, yeah. So like, when you got out there, you knew. All right. Well, if there was a pop fly to left, you knew the guy in left was going to get it. Right. You always knew he was going to do it. Most of the time, he did because you knew the, you knew the dude and you'd known him for years. So you could rely on each other, and that's why I feel like Overwatch never worked for me because you're constantly on a different team. Hmm. You were never on a team where you knew what the strengths and weaknesses were of your teammates, um, and that's why I feel like multiplayer multiplayer games in general especially team-based games, and Overwatch is probably the strongest team-based game that I've ever played. You needed everybody to do well in that game. There mm -hmm. was no carry. Yeah. Um, and if, if everybody didn't do well, then you lost. Yeah. Uh, and that was, that's what happened all the time in Overwatch. Like in Team Fortress, it didn't matter. So you could have two dudes that were really, really good at it and carry the whole team. Um, and there was no carry in Overwatch. It, it's because Blizzard makes perfectly balanced games. Uh, which is uh, that's a credit to them. <laughs> yeah, people. I don't know if you're going to agree with that, but <laughs> well, they're the <laughs> they're in, in my opinion. Yeah, in my yeah. opinion, they're the closest to perfectly balanced. Sure, I don't sure. think yeah. any other. I, video I do game. think it's very well balanced for for well, what it is. Usually for Blizzard games, and you look at the math, that's incontrovertible. Like mm -hmm. one of the things I always loved about <clears throat> StarCraft, aside from it not being a team game, so I was able to isolate those those things that I would always want to improve on, is that by the math. The three races would have a 33% win rate across yeah, professional, that's, across that's everything. That's pretty awesome. Can't really argue with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think uh, Overwatch is different, I think, because you don't have that necessarily that clean math with it, because it is team-based and everyone has different characters. 
Um, what I find fascinating about Overwatch and also uh, other Blizzard games is they can be they can be perfectly balanced, but the audience will perceive and agree on imbalance. It's like, hmm. we all think this is bad just because of how it <laughs> oh, feels I, or I how it plays. Saying, yeah. mm -hmm. And then Blizzard can be looking at the numbers and be like, no, it's totally fine. Like yeah. People that overuse that don't win anymore, but they still have to have that weird conversation with the audience of not telling them they're wrong, because boy, people hate to hear that, yeah. <laughs> but uh, seeming to address those things or nudge players mm -hmm. in the right direction through their, uh, through their patch notes and stuff like that. I don't know. That, to me... Not even the ma act of mathematically balancing a game, but managing the perception of that game and the, its balance is so so incredible to me. No, yeah, I, I completely agree. That's uh, I, I, I've, I've often I thought I think a lot about multiplayer games because I played a lot of them and I play like a lot of competitive multiplayer and like I was in, you know, stupid clans and all that other shit for Battlefield and stuff. <clears throat> Battlefield always felt more balanced, but again, one or two dudes could carry the team, even a large team. Uh, if you had one or two people that were really good at that game, then then they could carry, and then like. At that point, you're like, well, at least, you know, that one guy is doing really, really well on the other team. It's like, that's why we lost. <laughs> you can at least point to the one yeah. person. The yeah. board. Um, yeah, it was 60 kills and two deaths. Yeah, and and in Overwatch, I don't know if I could ever do that. I don't know if I could point to the other well, team. Well, they have, like, the gold and silver mechanics, so you, you can see. But you, ne you but can never see relative. kills. They're all relative, never yeah. You never see kills and deaths, and they're relative. Yeah. Yeah. And kills, kills matter if they're the right kind of kills. Mm -hmm. Like, it has to be the right player in the right circumstance at the yeah. right time, killed in the right way. Um, but like, I mean, I've seen Genji's get a million kills and still lose a match. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The the complication of the game, I think, abstracts it out to the point where it's <laughs> where it's very difficult to, uh, yeah, to derive clear, I think, feedback. That's because Blizzard would hide data. They didn't give you everything. They 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 they, they, they would hide data. To, yeah. Well, because they they wanted to make sure you didn't feel negative about it. It's like, mm -hmm. oh well, this one dude you know died forty times yeah, or whatever. They didn't want to give other players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They didn't want to give other players yeah say that. <laughs> information to dogpile on somebody. I yeah. Think. And, oh yeah, for sure. But but see, that's I don't know. I think that's kind of bullshit. I mean, like, <laughs> I'll, uh, for me, number one, if I'm the dude that died forty times and like everyone's like you the, you you died over, it's like. And then that happens over and over and over. Eventually, I have to go. All right, I'm the bad one at this game. Huh. I need to get better at this video game. Um, but if I'm, you know, dogpiled on only once or whatever, that's part of fucking gaming, man. Yeah, that's part of playing a game on the internet. You get dogpiled on. Like when I'm on the bottom of a Call of Duty lobby, mm -hmm. I know that I'm bad at it. And everyone's like, "You're garbage," <laughs> and I'm like, "I know, fuck." <laughs> like I'm sorry. <laughs> How else do I get better at this game other than playing it? Yeah, than being bad for a while. Um, huh. Yeah. So so, and that's why I hated about. Overwatch that they would hide the data. Yeah, I was like, why do you do this? What do you think about uh, a game that hides the data in like lower leagues or lower ranks? But once it mm. start, once you hit a certain MMR, it starts showing you that data because it, I guess, it judges that you're invested in it. Because really, I mean, yeah. it's, you don't want to scare off someone too early, sort of thing. Yeah, it, it's all about managing players and keep them keep them playing. Yeah, but I think if you get to the certain point where they they determine that you're invested enough or that you're you're accomplished enough at the skill levels, then yeah, they should start being a little more transparent about the game mechanics and the game stats. Mm. Oh, maybe that's that's called the uh, ELO. Yeah, um, we're basically like, what does that stand for, Lawrence? You know, offhand, I don't know what ELO stands for, but that's There's a what, Wikipedia article on it. In, yeah, yeah in in, uh, <clears throat> in Overwatch, you get caught in ELO hell, which is oh right, nobody knows how well anybody else is doing, but you're all in like the gold rank <laughs> mm. <laughs> or the or the rank yeah, below that. A lot of gold matches, and uh, and it's just like you don't know if you're getting better at the game. That was always my complaint. I was like, I have no idea if I'm mm -hmm. getting better at this video game or not. No idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're solo queuing, it's impossible. Because I, I would play, like, tank and healer, and when I would be tank or healer, I'd feel like I did a good job. I would keep people alive mm -hmm. for a very long time. I would stay alive for a very long time as a tank. Um, but I would get random feedback from my teammates about what I was doing right or wrong. Um, and I don't know. It's like, at a certain point, it's obvious it's not your fault. But on your tenth loss, that's all you can control. So it's yeah. so hard to be invested in something, but also be okay with not being in control of the outcome. It's kind of where I, I would always emotionally fall. Yeah. Like why do I why do I care so much about something that is so in the wind? Mm. And then if you stop caring, you stop playing well, or you stop trying to learn. I think. That's right. So I don't know how to. I've never learned how to manage those two things. To be like, I want to try to be very good at this, but also, eh, sometimes you just lose. <laughs> 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 it's hard for me to do both. What's the most competitive game you've like? What's the most competitive you've ever gotten in a game, Kraken? Ever? I don't get competitive in games actually, but this is fun that you bring that up because just a couple days ago I tried competitive Pokemon like on stream for the first time. Oh, like versus other people. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I, I opened it up to my viewers and I'm like, look, you guys have been watching me build my team for like the last month. Like, 
they let's, got all the let's data see how this goes. Though. Yeah, they know you. And they did. They definitely knew me. Um, <laughs> I think I went about like around even. Uh, it was like That's not bad. in terms of the the wins to losses. Um, there definitely cap is in your chat there. I see that though. That's interesting. <laughs> there definitely was like the meta teams. He and... got slapped. Okay, <laughs> yeah. look, they're mean. All right, we've already I don't established believe that. this. I believe and you murdered a twelve-year-old apparently. You. Oh yeah, the very first person I just did like a random match, and it was just like clearly like a kid that looked online like good Pokemon and just got that list, and I just completely swept the floor with him. And everyone's like, <laughs> why are you even doing this? <laughs> so. <laughs> Whenever I played a random match, I had a good time. But when I played against my viewers, they usually, I mean, it was a little more difficult. Yeah, um, yeah. But I, I kind of discovered that there's like this whole meta that I was purposely not looking up. Oh. But you have to. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll just literally get swiped by the exact same thing every yep. single time. So um, I haven't told them this yet, but I have been uh, secretly working on my uh, pseudo counter meta team Whoa. that I have not shown anyone so I'm gonna I'm just gonna show up on stream that's awesome what if they're already prepared see. for it what if they're already prepared they're gonna, I, they will already be prepared for it yeah I'm I'm that's thinking that's cool I'm thinking on it you know that's it's gonna be look at I knew it yeah. like, I knew it Naughty. So, <laughs> so there you're, you're actually describing a really fascinating thing because it, it like connects to what I was saying about the perception of balance and if the if the player base assumes and agrees that this is what we'll we're all going to do if you don't play that way you will lose yeah, even if it's yeah. not the right way to play that's right it's uh, it's wild and and i've i've seen and i feel like that's i got there with a couple of games where like the game as you perceive it is not the game you have to play mm -hmm. based on the way other people just choose to play there's like an invisible agreement there yeah and it's it's crazy because sometimes yeah, like using legendaries for example everyone's like oh, okay you whipped out this guy like you know clearly you're just trying to get an easy win and then if you can beat them, there's like an added, you know, uh -huh. element to that. Yeah, so, if you do it your way. Yeah, if you do it your way. Instead exactly. of yeah, following the flow chart. It's uh it's fun too because sometimes you'll hear cyber athletes. I'm gonna use the most uh, lauding term I possibly can. <laughs> kind of complain about that process is that they like the game but they hate the game. Mm. I think I think that's one of those weird moments where like uh I think what was it, Leffen was just haranguing on on Smash Ultimate. Uh, I don't know if it was exactly that, but I have seen a lot of people like complain about fighting games and complain about strategy games because people settle into these frames of mind and me methods of play that you have to follow because everyone does it, so you have to do it too because if you don't, you'll just lose. It, yeah. But some of the coolest shit is like sometimes somebody like the Overwatch is a good example. Of Overwatch League, when you're watching, most teams have a specific meta, and because of the balance that the game mm -hmm. has established. However, sometimes you'll see a team, and this is akin to this is. Uh, an analogy for maybe not everybody on the internet, but football. A good yeah. example is football oh. because mm -hmm. when you're when you're watching football, if there's like you're like, oh yeah, well they're gonna kick a field goal. They're never gonna fake it. Mm -hmm. They're never gonna fake a field goal, but you can. And that's mm -hmm. what's so exciting is when a team decides to fake a field goal because a field goal is sort of a given. It's like ah, they're yeah. gonna kick it through the arches, whatever, three points. But if you fake it, then there's a chance that the team could fake it and it'll throw off the whole meta of the game. And that's what's cool about Overwatch League is like sometimes you'll get somebody in there that's like, they've decided they're going to play Winston and they're mm -hmm. going to do it like crazily, and then that throws off the whole meta of the game and like and it basically like changes the meta of the game. I think that's really cool. Yeah, that's innovative. I will say yeah. So we were talking about esports before, or I guess just in general competitive gaming. Um, although I don't like doing that myself generally, it is really fun to watch like competitive Overwatch. I did actually enjoy. I went to like was a BlizzCon not this year but the year before, and I went and I just saw like four matches in the. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> oh, Who would? Uh, is he, okay, no, that's okay, that's great. Um, I thought he was eating dirt for some reason. It looked like no, he's throwing it's, up. I, I know he's throwing. It looks like it could go either way. You know, it's like that. That pose is so it's versatile. Um, anyway, I, from watching the Overwatch League, it was actually really cool. The announcers did an amazing job of contextualizing what was going on because I don't play Overwatch very much at all, but understanding like. You know, this person's famous for this character, yeah. and their whole team is like getting them in a position so they can do that character at their best. And then seeing that like actually come to fruition was like really cool. It's so, cool. It's it's really yeah. neat. It's and it's and it's something that obviously like sort of like you're doing, where the the player had been practicing Winston for a long yeah. time and with his team, right? Like he's like, are oh, we gonna do this thing during the finals? Yeah, and it'll fuck everybody up. It's like what you're doing with your Pokemon team. Like nobody knows. Yeah. Except then, I don't have a team. It's just me. Oh, well, <laughs> it's yeah, just that's me alone. True, that's true. But nobody yeah. knows your team when you get online sure. and you finally play. Everyone's like, oh, crikey. But then once I've shown it, then i got to make a new team because they're all going to counter that one. So that's correct. It really, streamers should never try to be competitive in a game that <laughs> <laughs> can be counterable because no, you right. just can't do it. You're right about that. 
What's crazy is like pro players are typically so many like just like galaxy brains ahead of mm -hmm. a like good competitive player yeah, to really the extent are. that they even know about those surprise plays too. Like they know about they know about the meta and they're like yeah. if they play the meta we'll do this. But they already know what would beat the meta. They're just waiting on someone else to do it. Mm -hmm. And then the meta shifts and now it's here. But yeah. they're already three steps ahead of that too. Because yeah. they play the game so well, it's, much. It's like chess. Yeah, yeah. It's like they they've thought ahead you know, chess has thought fifteen moves ahead mm -hmm. and you're never gonna beat those dudes. <laughs> so don't even try. It's, it's the lesson that I've learned. It's like, well, you know, at least at least in video games they can match make you with the other garbage people so uh -huh. that I'm playing with garbage people. Yeah. And then maybe I'll get a win with garbage people. Hey, that's fun. Yeah. At least well, I got a one win. One of the fun phenomenons, uh, so we were talking about, like, you know, gold rank. Then there's the other side of the board, which is, like, low priority pools and, like, things like Dota and oh. other ones where... What's that? that? Oh, you don't know what this is? No, no, no. So Dota's got, like, a self-policing system where if you're reported enough... Oh. For being a toxic player, okay. or for leaving early, or whatever it might be, wastelands. you get dumped into this low priority pool, which is basically like after everyone else in the high priority pool finds their match, then they'll like try to match up all the the <laughs> scum and low priority, oh, it. and it becomes this just like yeah, it's like a wasteland of because Dota's like a long game. Like if you're gonna do a game of Dota two, <sighs> you're in there for a long it's run. Soul crushing, and to so be in a bad Dota match. Imagine sharing that with other people who are notoriously. Bad. It's like it's like the expend. It's a suicide squad. They, yeah. There's a suicide squad of people they put together for like two hours at a time, and at any point, if someone's not having fun, they'll just leave. Yeah. And then you have less fun because of it. It's and like it's well, still forty minutes left. Yeah, because you're gonna play. Out you're the down match, a person. Right? They're not yeah. gonna. Are they not gonna requeue somebody into that match? Right. No. 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 no there's no, no requeuing. You can so. both surrender, and then your teammates don't. Yeah. Because they hate you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I've had that said to me directly out loud. Like, I'm not surrendering because I want you to I be I specifically much hate you. <laughs> yeah. I mean it was it was yeah. a little it was an interesting moment. It sucked to be there. Uh that was actually in, in Heroes of New Earth a million years ago. But yeah. Man, the internet's great. And like for the people that are bad, they've tried harder at being bad too than you mm -hmm. have at being good. They yeah. have. So even if you You're get right. matched with them, you think like, I've been trolled before. Uh-uh. No, man. No, they have. They've tried. Yeah. It's like they've... Uh, and uh, It's a skill they've honed. It's really confusing to me why people spend time. And so like... So to me, I'm like, dude, fuck it. If you're going to troll, man, just download hacks. <laughs> just download hacks and go out there and play with the fucking hacks. Like, why would you sit there and troll and be like, I'm going to leave during a competitive match? Or like, I'm going to sit here and play... The last five minutes, I'm gonna leave, and then you know, and then and then I'll wait for the punishment to go away on in uh, mm -hmm. in Overwatch, and then go back in and do it again. Why would you ever do that? Like, they're, they're spending hours of their time trying to make other people feel like shit. That's like so. It's so mean. <laughs> the, the whole thing is so fucking mean. Just download a hack, man. I think it gets Just you be closer. a hacker. <laughs> like, you can set it. Like setting you set goals for yourself, right? Being good at the game, hard to get to. Yeah. Intentionally ruining every match easy, you go into. Very easy. You have a hundred percent control, and you can point. arguably get even more like reaction and impact yeah. on other people's lives. That's a good point. From the latter, I think. I think that's, that's, that's why people do it. They they want to have some modicum of control over their own life. That's a really good point. And they exercise that by fucking other people's over, which is just the worst part of humanity. But also, like, no, it's interesting and it's own right. So, man, that sucks though. Like, yeah, it, it's and you're you're absolutely right. It's the control. It's about it's it's about being able to control the outcome and control the way other people feel because you can't do it with your skill, so you've got to do it with you know your ass, <laughs> um, which fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, like I don't know, man. Just don't play that fucking game, dog. <laughs> go play another game or download a hack, and then download a hack. Go be a hacker because and everybody in the server will all go. It's a hacker. Yeah. No big deal. I, I've hacker. never heard someone advocate for hacking as much as you are right now, Bruce. So I'm, I'm a little... The, the reason is because I've done it. I've done it. Oh, I've my it. God. I've done it a lot. Bruce is a black hat. Yeah. I, I did it, and it was, obviously it was never competitive, because I, I did this years and years ago when it wasn't competitive. But I, I just did it when I was like actually just playing in random pub servers. It's so much fun. Okay. It's the most Right now, I'm, I'm going to draw attention to this. Yeah. My chat is is completely horrified. horrified. My chat, although they're angels, okay? You're hurting their ears. Well, I don't give a shit. All right? And your chat's like, I mean, no, they also... They are, they're also horrified. <laughs> yeah. they no one is with you on this. Also, they already know. Okay. No, uh, but, but regard, I mean, I've said this uh, uh, plenty of times on content. Um, no, I, I download a hack and play in pub servers. Because, again, in a pub server, you can leave. So you, like, if, if everyone's getting hacked, you just go the new server, right? And then if you don't want to play, then you just leave. That's it's it's really that simple. 
Um, and I'm I'm not saying do it. I'm just saying if you're going you to are be saying total, do it. No, I'm not. You, you've already said multiple times do it. I'm not. I'm saying if you're an asshole, do it. <laughs> okay, I, mean, I think that's, but it's a, that's such an easy. Yeah, but it's Arnold but, but it's better than, asshole. But it's, but no, well, yeah, yeah, probably. But it's better than. But it's also better than playing in a competitive match and then leaving and like sitting there and planning your de- the demise of the whole team uh-huh. versus hacking in a pub server. Yeah, totally different. Totally different. It's also really fun. You should try it. It's really, really fun. <laughs> just said do it. It's he just really said do it. He just, I, to I, me, to I'm only on the record, you, to only you. Okay. Yes. Yes, to only you. You should try. Does that make it better? I don't know. Um, yes, it does. I'm not telling thousands of people to do okay. it. I'm just telling one. Just, you. just me. Okay. I'm telling you, you should try it. Uh huh. Because it's fun. What well, if you get banned? If you get banned, then fuck it. You get banned. <laughs> so what? Move on. You caught me. Okay. Yeah, I mean, again, it's 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 one of those things where I think, in in that case, you can just hit, you can just do it in a pub server, and you got your fucking thrills. <laughs> you know, like you, you didn't have the you weren't doing it in a in a match that people actually care about. Um, whether or not it's their ranking or something like that. So how do you feel when you're playing in a pub server and you're streaming, let's say you have like the best game of your life and you get like killed by a hacker? It's, it's great. Go ahead, because I go, it was a hacker. And I move on. It's really that easy. It's like, cause I mean, I, and also the whole server, the entire, it, no joke, it mobilizes them against that one person. And you are so fine I, with being that one person that's mobilized against? No, I, I haven't done this in years. And also, yes, I'm totally fine with it. Okay. It's hilarious. Um, but but regardless. He is, he is these people. He is, he yeah. is the low priority people. I mean, you got to under, well, no, understand would never, their mindset. I would never hack in a competitive match. That's okay. what I'm trying to say. Uh, well, um, I mean, low priority isn't necessarily competitive. It's like, I mean, there's like an inherent MMR, right? Like, you, your rank goes up oh, and sure, down. Oh, sure, yeah, But yeah, like, it's yeah. not a ranked, like in Dota, I don't know if there is even like a casual versus ranked. I haven't played in years, so. There's, but, there, right? Yeah, what? me neither. I don't remember. You, there's, you can only play competitive? I just remember well, playing. it's just like your account is tied to a skill that's oh, like hidden. No right? version of playing Dota that's just oh. like, just for I think fun. so. I don't know. So really, there's no version of Dota that you I mean, I just well, mean, I I just mean philosophically. You don't go into Dota and be like, ah, I got 20 minutes, I want something light. All right, modded Dota games are pretty fun. I, oh, yeah, like when, I guess that's true. I mean, I guess that's just not Dota. Well, I, also, yeah, GTA hackers. See, like, this is, by the way, GTA hackers, no. I, what? I, How is that different? They spawn so, like UFOs. That's the stuff. exact same thing. Hold on, I'll tell that's you, wacky. I'll tell you what. I like okay. hackers in GTA. I, I, I mean, I kind of do too. But but I'll tell you why it, it kind of sucks because more GTA because people have spent real money uh, to mm, be on GTA Online and do, the, do shit with their with the. That's the problem. So like, but a hacker doesn't destroy whatever money you've invested. That's, no, that's true. You're right. But I mean, like, and again, like, but I'm, they skip I'm, the line, fu- you know? I'm fine with it. But I understand why people are bothered. Um, it's because they've spent hundreds of dollars on shark cards and all that other shit, and like they want to drive their jet around and like have fun. But then like somebody spawns a fucking UFO in front of them, right? That sucks because they've spent a bunch of money. I get it. I'm, How is that different than buying a game and wanting a clean multiplayer experience? Because you, well, you could just go to another server in GTA. I guess that's true. That's true. Um, again, I'm not. It doesn't bother me. Mm, hackers are okay. part of the internet. What about this? Yes, yes, yes. Hackers that specifically target a person and screw them over. Oh, in particular. That's shitty. Okay. That's total garbage. Yeah, I actually think that's like what that, if that that's, a pedophile? that's a combination of what we're talking about. <laughs> what if the person and a pedophile? pedophile? They should probably be Ooh, put in jail he's... forever. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The hacker? Both? The pedophile? <laughs> the hackers back put them in the same point. jail. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Which one? I thought it was all one person. The, the person who's being targeted by the hacker. Yeah. Wait, if the hacker's targeting a pedophile? Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's like vigilante Mercenary justice. Yeah, it's yeah, like okay. vigilante justice. All right. It's like it's like a uh, Darth Vader killing the Emperor. Okay, well, did he kill him though? It is like that. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Darth know. Vader, kind of a pedophile, sorta. How old was, uh, was he? How old was Amidala supposed uh, to be? Uh, Am- 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 no, oh, she, he was. Oh, the, oh, she was. Yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah, the he, she was. The the, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> he well, was the young one. I mean, you're not a pedophile if you're a child and you're chasing after adults. No, that you? doesn't. What's the word for that? That's a reverse. Oh, this is so. This is a good question, actually. Metal burning in your check, Reckon. What about that Fortnite content creator who got a lifetime ban from hacking strictly for content? Ooh. Did you so this was this was an interesting I don't, thing. I don't so, know the story. so the story was there was I forget the guy's name, but he's a content creator, plays Fortnite all the time, just like one of us. And uh, he was hacking and got a lifetime ban because he was hacking. And apparently that's what Fortnite does generally. They they ban, you know, your account, and then you can no longer play Fortnite anymore. But since he was a streamer when he was banned, he probably can't make another account and go play, right? Mm-hmm. Because Epic will then see that he's playing on another account and ban that account. 
um, Ninja commented on it. Oh yeah, so and Ninja was like, said it was not fair. He was like, dude, this isn't fair. He's a content creator. He said the he said the consequences were different. He said, well, yeah, he said the consequences, which is were, were true. Oh, 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 so this is the, I'm getting to the my question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, because so basically what Ninja was was saying was like, hey, the consequences are different for a streamer versus just a hacker, just some dude at home playing who got banned. He can make another account, play whenever he wants. But the content creator got banned, can never play again, never play Fortnite again. Because, like I said, Epic will go and find him again and be like, oh, he's, he's streaming this? Fuck, he's banned again. Um, and Ninja said, the consequences should be different. What do you guys think? I would agree. I, I don't know what the... Um... A lot of people didn't. Boy, I absolutely don't agree at all. Okay. Gosh. Well, well okay, oh. what was the hack exactly? I'm, I'm not really sure. I, it was just like a, like an aimbot or a wall hack or oh. something. It was like, it was, I mean, it's just, it was him playing Fortnite with I an mean, one hack. would say making it for content is worse than just using it because you're popularizing the... The perception that a lot of people hack in the game. That's a good point. You're popularizing the information mm. about the hack. Really? You're driving yeah. people to try to discover it on their own. Um, I mean, in terms of consequences for Epic, that's worse than just some 14-year-old. Yeah. No, I'd, I'd agree with that. I, I didn't know it was just a name, but I thought it was like when he, when he was generating content. I thought it was like a custom lobby where he was making. No, no, no. He's also, cool no, he's shit. like playing Fortnite okay. with other people. If he's yeah. a good content creator, he shouldn't need Fortnite. They don't, Epic doesn't owe anyone to swim in their wake that's of the true. product they maintain. Yeah. Um, that's true. So yeah, if if and this this is where it almost gets into free use territory. If like if more people were watching his content because it was about Fortnite and it was about hacks, but not about him or his work, mm -hmm. then the ratio doesn't add up. Like it well, was more Epic's work and his work that caused it to be popular than his own contribution. I could be wrong. He didn't make the hack. I could he be, didn't make the game. I could be wrong though. I don't. I don't he wasn't known for hacking. Like this was just like him mm. trying something out. Mm. Like he but he he was mm. good at Fortnite. Um, but but I know what you're saying. Like, your 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 point is still valid. It's just, but it's more of like a. Pretty sure he just played Fortnite all the time, and then he was like, "Hey, fuck it, I'm gonna download Hack and go play and stream it." Um, mm. And so that's what he didn't. Well, it just sounds dumb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it no, just sounds like a dumb. A kid. A dumb I know, I, he was like 20 or something. Okay. I, I totally agree. I mean, like the only time I, I would see that's like justifiable would be if it was like a one-off piece of content where you're like, "Okay, let's see how like an experiment." You're like, "All right, let's see how an aimbot would actually change." Gameplay and like what can you recognize are the signs of someone name botting then like you know that I think is a little more defendable But if it's like you know just a fuck it like today's a hack stream I think that's what it was. I think it was just like today. I want to play hacks. Yeah, okay. I, and Like it's funny because I understand I actually understood ninja's point of view like it made sense to me because he's right like the, the, the dude that made I mean also Lawrence I guess and I'm not arguing with you, but I'll give you the counterpoint which sure. is he had marketed for epic you know, probably in the in the thousands and thousands of dollars territory for Fortnite, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but he got paid doing it. So he got he got paid doing it. But their it, their business exchange was complete already. Yeah, well, Epic didn't know him anything. Uh, and and that's what Epic is thinking, obviously, because yeah, yeah. they banned him. But um, but it's one of those things where he's like he's raised the clout of Fortnite because he's one of the major Fortnite. He was a big like a big Fortnite streamer. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that that is in any way, shape, or form a trade? He can do what he wants with the game because. He play, you know, he played it a ton and actually helped Epic. No. Not substantially. No. Okay. If it wasn't him, it'd be somebody else. Yeah, yeah. I disagree with that. Too. Uh, I and also like, that's a real. Uh, not saying that you're saying this, but that is oh, a yeah. scary sentiment to think about. That somebody can be like too big to fail. I mean, I'm not, I'm not fucking naive. I know it. Like Doctor Disrespect violated California state law, and his his channel was suspended for what mm -hmm. a couple of weeks. What do you mean for the bathroom thing? Bathroom yeah. thing, yeah. And like, I don't care. Like that's not a that's not a hell I'm gonna die on, but. You know, I get it. Some people are too valuable to punish accordingly to everyone else. So, I don't know. I think it's actually surprising and I think speaks to Epic's long-term strategy about how they're going to maintain the, the image of Fortnite and the community of Fortnite mm -hmm. that they are being so universally yeah, tough. Yeah, towing the line on like a specific thing and not making it like a kind of yeah. gray area middle ground. That's important. Yeah. Um, but Epic, and also Epic doesn't doesn't need like they're in a position where people yeah. come to them. Yeah, they don't need a At specific point, streamer. Well, that's what they were thinking, I'm sure. Because they were just like, well, fuck this dude. He's a he's a hacker, obviously. <laughs> um, I don't know. The hacking I was defending <laughs> was specifically around like, like, closed lobbies, like content where you're not ruining someone else's time. Oh, you do whatever you want, and you're yeah. just like, yeah. you know, doing a cool shit. Yeah, because we do that too. Oh, I mean, that, that's I think that's and that's like uh, somebody was just talking about role play in my chat. Yeah, GTA role play, and that's totally fine. Yeah, I'm it's like, like a hacked, you that's, know, version that is of GTA. A, well, and everyone knows when you're going into that yeah. server, you know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Um, and it's it's funny because like. Truthfully, again, when I was when I was hacking way back in like 2002 or whatever it was, 
playing CSGO, that's what it was. You get into a server and there were four hackers. <laughs> and it wasn't like there was there were no there was no competitive mode. It was just like you'd go in and play, you know, Ice World. And Ice World was just <laughs> firing squads on either side. <laughs> and there's four or five dudes that all have hacks. Yeah. And uh and you go you go and play, you just sit there and like everyone's hacking everyone all the time. <laughs> and that's the way it felt. It was it was fun. Um, it's fun because you get hacked and then you would just download that hack and then do it. Um, but it's totally different now. The, the communities are totally different now that it's all super competitive. Like Battle Royales, getting hacked in a Battle Royale is incredibly frustrating. I think that's really shitty. Mm -hmm. um, because you've been playing for you know for a long time, you're getting down to the bottom three or whatever, and then you get fucking hacked. That mm -hmm. sucks. That sucks. Uh, to it's a totally different scenario. But anyways, I don't know. Well, I got... I got uh Sponsor news, big energy drink sponsor news, <laughs> namely that for some reason Rain did not uh, call me up, um, and I got to be honest, I'm at a loss. I uh, you run out of energy drinks? No, no, there's plenty. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I just I can't for the life of me figure out why I haven't landed that contract yet. Uh, With I got, which specific company? Because you changed. I mean, their... any of them, any of them. Yeah. The, uh, the information's out there. The sponsorship is there. I've, yeah. I've demonstrated what I could do. I interactivity, man. That's that engagement true. was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, was it? Did anybody buy energy drinks in the chat? I'm sure they did. We don't need to ask that. Uh, Lawrence's chat. Did you guys buy energy drinks? I got the look. I got the juice, and they're not knocking at my door. And the only thing I can think of is that they just can't afford me, or they think they mm. can't afford oh. me. Yeah, and I see a lot of no's. Uh, uh, well, you know, they're you know it's Twitch chats. So they like to troll. You know how it is. Uh, uh, they're trolling. I think. Yeah, they're they're trolling. They're trolling. It's, they got mountains of rain behind them or whatever. But I mean, no, they don't because I didn't get the check or anything. So I figured I was shooting too low. Yeah. Um, because you know, rain. Whoever. I've rain never heard of rain. Yeah, I, they probably looked at the great engagement they were getting, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Gosh, we can't afford this guy. Right. Why would we even?" That's right. But they were too. They were put off from even reaching out. Yeah, that's because they knew your rate was going to be too high. Yeah, I'm a little intimidating that way. So I thought I'd shoot for the top today, uh, going with the Red Bull Peach Edition there. Mm. Uh, Peach Nectarine. I got a new product. You think Red Bull's going to sponsor you? I mean, they're the only ones who can, right? I mean, you'd think so, but I think just to be safe. Uh, if you were thinking of buying a Red Bull, please only half of you do it, so you can organize amongst yourselves. Yeah, we don't want too much of an yeah. inflection. We Hold want to make some sure. of it back. Extort, yeah. extort Red Bull a little bit. Be like, this, so is, this is a taste. When you buy a Red Bull, use content, or I'm sorry, creator, creator code, code. Yeah, uh, Sir Lar. You get your uh, Fortnite in-game Red Bull that recharges your shields. Creator code, <laughs> Sir Lar. Use that creator code. I, don't, I also don't think creator code. I don't think you've actually taken a drink out of any of these no, yet. Well, no, I, I, I had to <laughs> prop it up. <laughs> Because I, I know that energy there, drinks... take a drink right now. Okay. Yeah. And, and it's going to be you tell how, it, Put your taste bud where your mouth is. Tell it how, how mm. it tastes. Mmm. There. My God, Red Bull, you've done it again. Or at least you will. Once I get my money. Yeah. <laughs> Once that sponsor check comes through. So. Also, like, when I got back on my diet, I was I was being pretty slovenly in the past couple of weeks. Mm. But, uh... This, is that part of your diet? Oh, 160 <laughs> calories is actually going to be pretty hard to use. That is a pretty. Wait, is that Rebel? That's a lot for us. Is that Rebel sugar can. free? It's not. I wanted the peach flavor though. I like peach. Wait, that's not 160. calories. They don't make peaches per without can, sugar. is it? It's absolutely 160 calories per can. I mean, this is one of the bigger cans. They have 120 mm. calorie ones. No, it's not, 12 fluid ounces. That's not too bad at all. I mean, it's it's just empty 160? sugar. 160? No, no way for one. I mean, yeah, sodas are usually normal. More than yeah, normal sodas like three or four hundred calories per can. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, the cans like. Dude, they're a fuckload. Yeah, sugar remember. like actually sugared sodas are terrible. Yeah, they that's why I'm really surprised that that's actually not so bad. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get that energy. I'm gonna get that money. Most importantly, I don't know that you are. So uh, yeah, um, that's that's my next step. I figure I get the sponsorship, then I go pro. Uh, in whatever what game. What do you mean go pro? A, a, a in which game, game, dude? We're well, talking about competitive games. Well, you gotta pay a game first. Doesn't matter. You whatever. Should, you know what you should do? Yeah. Download a hack. <gasps> you should download you a hack. It's a shortcut. A shortcut. Yeah. It's a shortcut. To <laughs> Take all that sponsor money, put it right in the hacks. And then Red Bull will never know. They won't. How can they? They're too busy counting all their sales. I'll be ra raking in for them. Has there been a pro player that like was caught hacking? I feel like that's oh, yeah. really hard. No, it it was, that happens like it was like the CS:GO guy. Who was, really? Yeah, yeah, he was like dragged away from his computer at an event while he was like trying to delete it. It was amazing. Oh, I do remember one of those. Yeah, it happens quite a bit. Wow. Yep. yep. What What's weird to me? What's weird to me is that. There's been some very like uncomfortable talk about performance enhancers in esports communities, namely, oh, oh he's dead. <laughs> namely like testing for Adderall and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but energy drink sponsor esports events, they do. which Red Bull, I'm totally okay already, with it, and I'll do. be totally in there. What are you talking about? They have, they do it all the time. Yeah. So why isn't there any conversation about like critical levels of caffeine being a performance enhancing drug oh. in esports? Mm. 
Is that a performance thing? It, 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 it is. Of course it is. So caffeine is, is uh, designated as a performance enhancing drug like in the Olympics. And in like really? Sport. Yeah, yep, it certainly is. Wow. Pro sports might be a little different, but I know the Olympics for sure. Because hmm. um, I remember looking looking at what the performance enhancing drug was. I have a prescription though. Um, for caffeine? For caffeine. I'm sure that you don't. <laughs> um, Talk says I need it. But uh, I mean like, that's why like when Lance Armstrong did it, he didn't, it wasn't a drug. He just switched out his blood. Oh, yeah, blood doping, oh. which is the coolest phrase ever. He blood just, doping. He just switched out his blood. Yeah, he would like hyper oxygenate his blood. He'd take wow. it out of his body. They'd like infuse Jesus. it with O2 and then cram so it like, back that's in. That's some vampire shit. Dude, like, I don't I don't advocate for that shit at all. Well, there's also like, <laughs> uh, there's a version of blood doping you can do where you just get into a capsule on top of a mountain. Is, and like the thinner air makes you develop more red blood cells. So when you don't go then perform. Uh, blood doping is like hacking. Yeah, it's yeah. biohacking. It's Absolutely. biohacking. There's but a imagine, word for that. But imagine hacking like the Tour de France. That's what he did. Yeah, for years. That's kind of cool. He took all I mean, that. It is cool, but all also that donation cool. money, put it right in the hacks. He made millions and millions. He of made dollars all. He sold all those bracelets. Can you imagine wearing a Lawrence bracelet? I, it's gonna be like two yeah. weeks. I give it tops. I hate this cosplay. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate. You know what I hate? What do you uh, hate? I hate mashups. Yeah. What? Uh, nerd mashups. I. Uh, li- it's all of my opening songs are nerd mashups. Wait, what do you mean opening songs? For no, 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 no. all my streams. He, d- he doesn't mean musically. No, no, I mean, oh, I think he just means okay. intersecting oh. two properties. Oh, music's fine. Music's fine. Uh, I'm talking oh. about this shit. Like Mario and Game of Thrones. I, oh. I don't Boom. hate that. I, I, I don't know. I find it endearing, kind of. Oh, I hate it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it either. It's one of those things to me that I'm like... Back to the Future and Doctor Who. They're like... What if the DeLorean ran into the TARDIS? They're like... I, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, well, they don't take it seriously. Well... Well, no, of course they don't take it seriously, but but they do take they do take seriously. the cosplay seriously. They like put hours and hours of work into it. They bought a helmet. No, they didn't. They bought this fucking whole thing with a that, shotgun on it. I, I, I literally had that same outfit. They you, bought, no, you don't. What the, the take a the, picture? The, you take a picture and you send yes, me a picture. Yes, it's the string with the you, civilization you with strip and rose dressed up as like a and the man purse and the whip and the a man socks. purse. White. What do you mean? And you you take a picture of yourself. You send it to me. What hours? You didn't custom make. You, you send it okay. to me. When I was in when I was in Tokyo, there was a really cool figurine of like a like Japanese like mm-hmm. samurai styled version of like Django Fett. Oh yeah. yeah what what does that count for you? Is that is that you know? I still don't like it. It's, it's not crossed like. with another property. Yeah, it's it's not as. It's a bad. different vision it's like of a, an existing. It's like a right. steampunk thing. Yeah. Basically. Well, I mean that's pretty. Well, bad. steampunk. Yeah, steampunk is something. But oh, you like steampunk. Steampunk, steampunk is, is that's all cross. That's all it is. Steampunk. <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I don't hate I steampunk. I think steampunk is has steampunk got a punk's an aesthetic. It's got a bad rep and, and a lifestyle. It's what? Been... No, it has an entirely normal, deserved rep. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Normal. We can make fun of steampunk. Yeah, we can make fun of. We steampunk. can make fun of steampunk. I don't know. I've known some nice. I mean, they're oh, not. Oh no, I feel fine. So fine, but they can be nice, but also have oh. bad taste. <laughs> yeah. Sorry out there if you guys like your pipes and your brass and your steam. It's kind of pretty fucking nerdy. Yeah. And like. We're all nerds mm-hmm. here, like big time nerds. <laughs> but it's like the nerdiest. Can you think of the last time, the last life event, when you might have been okay getting really into steampunk? Yeah. Uh, probably into high school. I think there was a lot of stuff back then that I was like, just, you know, I only knew from the internet. I didn't really think of mm-hmm. think, think it through in person. And I was like, yeah, I, that sounds kind of cool. But in reality, it doesn't really hold up. <laughs> Did you ever, was there ever a time that you were like, you got so close to being in, in steampunk, where you had to like pull away and be like, oh my gosh, shit, this is steampunk. <laughs> that was so close. Um, I was in Civil War reenactments, which are like, oh wow, that's, which are like just a stone's throw away from steampunk. They're really close to steampunk. Yeah. There were a lot of, a lot of old dudes there. I guess there's steam. There's vests. There's, okay, there's vests, people they don't use. own vests, okay? Uh, vests can, can have other use. I don't know about that. I mean, it sounds like you're justifying. Hard to think of steampunk. Things. Kraken, are you a steampunk? <laughs> I'm a steampunk apologist. Are you in okay. Well, clo- oh, it sounds a... like you're in the steampunk closet. You should just. I, come do, out. I do have a piece of steampunk apparel in my closet. You should just come. Is it out. Goggles. Yeah, it's it's it. goggles and it's a hat, a top on? hat. I, oh my god. Okay. You uh, no. To be we fair, are, hold on. I will you're defend close. this. You are close to steampunk, my friend. I I will defend this. Uh, a year ago, I redid my apartment and we made like a costume closet and. Uh, my mother for my birthday bought me a bunch of costumes. She didn't consult me on any of this. Mm-hmm. And one of them she sent me was a steampunk hat with little goggles. And I was like, thanks mom. And I put it in there and I have not used it since. All right, but so you got it from your mom. I, I got it from my mom and I've not, it's a bit closet. It's a closet of bits and from my own style of my stream where I'm, I make a fool out of myself. I'm really worried about you. I think I have a justification to wear uh, awfully 
TOS. You know? Yeah. <laughs> TOS. Steampunk should be TOS. It should I think be. they're talking about the tits on the screen. But no, they might I'm, be. I thought I was saying you should get banned. Those are some rocking tits, for though. Steampunk. Man, good for her. Oh, that's fine. Oh, you're not impressed? That's, that's body painting. They got good so That's they all got... Twitch does is body painting. <laughs> good spread. <laughs> right, Jeez. Buddy. Yeah, you're right, though. That is, there's a lot of that. No, TOS is steampunk. And you should get banned. Having, yeah, uh, having a hat and goggles. Sorry, man. Mm, that's tough. Well, I didn't know this was where we're gonna have our friendship, have a rift. This very specific issue of my bed closet steampunk collection. Hey, you guys are beefing. This is good for business. I do have a vest. Oh, I also have a vest. Oof. But I, I wear it for my vampire. There's a picture of it. I mean, I don't I, need to even say anything anymore. You've it's, it. a, it's like a vampire vest with like you, my yeah, the no, wig no. and eyeliner. It's it's fantastic. We'll let, so, the, we'll let the internet judge you. Bruce, you you hate like property crossover. What about fan like fantasy? Aesthetic crossover like vampire steampunk. Oh, I hate that. Shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Is that worse than just vampire? Steampunk? Okay, vampire steampunk's kind of bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> you were about to say it was cool. I like vampire shit. That's fucking. It's so dorky. I love it. I mean, it's really dorky. But but the vampire culture is worse than steampunk. Johnny Wiggs. I think most. I think no. <laughs> actually, I, I disagree with that. Vampires are no. I disagree with that. Steampunk's culture. Steampunk culture is worse than vampire culture. No, they're both bad. What? Oh, they're both trash. We'll figure this out. How? We'll get there. They're both trash. N no way, dude. <laughs> One is like just full on LARPing. Like vampire, you wear fucking teeth. Okay. You can barely talk well. You move like you're, you know, you're somehow like dodging lasers or some shit. You kind of skulk. Yeah, I think it's smooth. How, how goofy is that? It's so fun. I want to make sure and say this out loud for the stream and for the internet that we're just making fun of this stuff. It's totally fine if you do it. It's yes, okay. 100%. We're not. We don't think that you're stupid or whatever. If you like, if you ever come up to me, you're like, I, oh, you know what, it made me feel really bad because I'm a steam. Like I love steampunk, dude. Love steampunk. Love it as much as you want. The only person I'm going to say that or I won't say that to is a pedophile. All right. <laughs> if a pedophile says <laughs> I love to be a pedophile, then good. I'll be like, dude. Everybody was starting to wonder, Bruce. So if, a, if a pedophile likes steampunk, you Ooh. can't. You should probably turn yourself. Yeah. In. If there's yeah. one, turn that's yourself it. in. That's the one. Yeah. What we that. need, we need all of internet. Internet subcultures to just get together in a big field, get your bike chains, get your socks with your pennies in it, and stuff, <laughs> and just have it out. See which one gets to win, and then we all know. We've had world wars about like culture mm -hmm. and true. methods of government. We sorted that out. At least I thought we did. We sorted most of that out. We haven't done that on the internet. I mean, there there've been like forum wars and stuff. Those were fun. That's always fun. But uh, oh <laughs> boy. I mean, that's actually, it's well well made for what it it and it's exactly what it's trying to be. What is uh, the the makeup? This picture? Yeah. What do you mean well made for what? I mean it's it. That's an amateur didn't do any of that. I'll say that. She looks like a pencil with an eraser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. She's beautiful. And she's duck facing. Mm -hmm. Well, I think her lip liner is just around her like get rid of that. down at her chin, which makes it look like that. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Yeah. Oh, Bruce, I got some for you to read. Oh, really? Yeah. Exciting. So, uh, we've been talking about Star oh, hey, Wars for about an hour now. You can hate on Google Stadia. That's true! I forgot about Everyone that. Everyone well, we can both, dunk on uh, Google Stadia. Oh yeah, no, we already did the thing. Okay, we already oh, you got that check? We, yeah. did, we, did we did an ad sales <laughs> thing with Stadia. Yeah. Cool! And, uh, I'll be perfectly honest, when we went Wi-Fi, it did not work. Ooh. Not at all. So when we, when we, we wired it, issues. it actually worked really well. Mm -hmm. um, and that was something that I was really surprised about, was as soon as we did Wired, there was no difference. I played Destiny 2 for hours on Wired Stadia, totally fine. But when, as soon as we went Wi-Fi, it didn't work at all. So we had some issues with ours yeah, too. Yeah, that's important. That's important to know. So here, let me. Is there a way for me to? I'll just send you a link of it. Here. God. Oh, wait, are you sending it to my email? Uh, I can I can text it to you. Oh, okay. I'm really excited. I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, the message is queued. What's that all about? Come on, the phone. Sounds like somebody needs the energetic lift of a. Energy drink. Is the new uh, Star Wars right, ride sure. out at Galaxy's Edge yet? Oh, Rise Disney of the Resistance? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, had... it opened at Disney World. But not at Disneyland. No, right? I don't oh. know when it's opening at Disneyland. All right. So that's a link there Whoa, to a wiki. Geez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't read the whole thing. There's a section that's more important than the rest. <laughs> Tits. Why did you send him tits? I didn't. This is that, Yes, he did. Scroll down. His breast on Yeah, it. it's breasts, all right? You're an adult. All right, scroll down to Roland Males. That's the important part. So... Tits, all right? We all know them, we all love them. They're also in Star Wars. How do we get here? Out. Rolling males. So there is an article on Star Wars' wiki uh, about titties in general, starwars.fandom.com. But it turns out, dudes have breasts too. What? Yeah, we in do. Star Wars. Sound right. mm -hmm. You've seen them more than once. 
So now Bruce can read about the role that breasts have for the men oh, okay. in Star Wars. So the breasts roll in males. Yes. Males meaning men. Men. Okay. Mm, guys. Yeah. As male individuals were not biologically meant to nurse their offsprings, they sported much smaller breasts and produced no milk. Mandalore the Lesser, mm. then a gladiator, Aaron Peacebringer, a planetary leader, and Anakin Skywalker, in certain circumstances, such as on Nelvan, would freely exhibit them. Oh. <laughs> the males in primitive cultures would also go bare-chested in their young adulthood and childhood, such as the Nelvanians. Also, males would go bare-chested to allow freedom of mobility or body temperature, as exhibited by the whippid Jedi Master Kakruk, Galen Marek while on Felucia, the Corrin leader Carvaster on Har uh, Harun Kal, or Kiata Mundi when training in his youth. Some males, such as Anakin Skywalker and Karan Horn, would also sleep bare-chested for comfort, though it should be noted that Horn undressed completely to sleep as opposed to simply going bare-chested. Also, male breasts were usually not covered when the individual was in a Bacta tank, as exhibited by Luke Skywalker and Kyle Katarn, or when tortured, as seen with Cade Skywalker. Oh, that's so nice of them to not put the, the shirts on when tortured. I know, it, I mean, they're showing their But breasts. Han was wearing his shirt when he was tortured, that's weird. Uh, medical <laughs> examinations, there's an article about that. Me medical, medical examinations such as those performed by the Kaminoans on their clones were usually performed on bare-chested males. Mm. Men of various species, such as the human Jiraiya Sin, the Nautilan Kitfisto, and a Quarren commander also swam bare-chested. Exposing one's chest, also exhibited by sin, was a part of preparing to make love. Uh, what? <laughs> How? This is an article about what it's like to be shirtless. Basically, yes, but no. showing not even what Star it's like. Wars, in Star Wars, showing okay. their breasts. Men. Did you know that? Did you know that? What men? else is on this wiki? I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm lots of things. I yeah. imagine everything. Every part of cultural significance humanity. of breasts yeah. in Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, there's a. Oh, wait, if you keep scrolling down, there's a pretty great image. Oh yeah, read the caption of that image. Tross saw a tree with pronounced breasts. Ah. It's just a picture. Did you know Star Wars had a tree with titties? That's just a woman. Oh, That's a I didn't woman. know that. No, it's a tree. No, no, you're right, it is a tree. It says it right there. There's titty trees in Star Wars. It's great. It's everything. This is so weird. <laughs> Cultural significance of breasts in Star Wars. In mainstream galactic society, breasts were normally kept covered. Female patients' back tanks could have their breasts covered, but in some cases they chose not to. Nice. Yeah. I guess we're talking about boobs in Star Wars. And it seems to have the same exact relevance to real life. It's just good that some... Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? I don't yeah. know. It's just good that somebody collected all that information yeah. in one place. Because uh, Cause I was wondering, I actually, the other Oh, day. that's good, yeah. It was like... Well, so, well, sometimes in Star Wars, when they say, like, some phrase, uh, where they're like, you know, like... Younglings? Well, younglings is, a, I guess, probably more of a Star Wars term. But, like, let, let's say they, they say a, a phrase that is in normal life here. Then someone else has to explain it canonically. Mm, yeah, in true. the Star Wars universe, why someone said "big as a house" or you know, like something like that. Yeah, or someone said "younglings." <clears throat> we have to make sure that children are actually represented as close. Like our idea for children can apply it to younglings. Yeah, right? some cross. When they said not, "not the younglings," maybe that's not a big deal. You know, maybe younglings I... die all the time. Hey, Bruce. What? You think there's pedophiles in Star Wars? I mean, yeah. You think so? Of course there are. Which you know, one? There, there is, we don't know that. Which one? Which one of the characters? Have you, yeah, when did you ever know. read about one? No, I mean, like, there could be some... If they even read around one, it's not on the wiki, then it's not, it doesn't happen. Because I think, like, true. Mandalorian might be the first toilet we've ever seen in Star Wars. Maybe. Mandalorian? Also, Wait, in, ep in an empire... Toilet? <laughs> yeah, there was a toilet in Mandalorian. When did we see the toilet? Where? It's on a ship, I think, right? Am I wrong? No, one? I don't think there was a toilet. One. There was totally a toilet somewhere. I mean, you might be right. I, I just... I'm not convinced. Can you look up on the wiki real quick if there is yeah, shitting yeah, in Star Wars? I don't... Also, no, I'm the, I was, okay. yeah, Bruce, that based, on, based on what you said, you jogged a little memory there, because I watched the original trilogy. I just, I don't know. I this is down dangerous. I know, that, that's, why, that's why I'm worried about what I'm doing. Uh, Han, when they're telling him that, like, his Tauntaun won't survive out in the cold, he says, I'll see you in hell. Star Wars, oh, that's hell. hell is canonical. There's canonical hell in Star Wars, There's Bruce. There's canonical hell in Star what Wars. What else is there canonically? Oh, man. Probably I'm, oh, yeah, 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 the Mandalorian reveals how characters, Star Wars characters, poop in space. I know. I knew it when I saw that toilet. I was like, wow, that's the first Star Wars toilet. That's a big deal. Where's the that's picture? A huge of it? deal. Is there no picture of it? I think it's a video. Is it? I mean, it looks like a normal toilet. It's just a little shiny. Wait, there's no. I don't see it though. You gotta click through the pictures. I don't. Each want one is to. its own blog post. Click on it. These aren't. No. The, uh, I'm gonna sign up for Disney Plus uh, right no, now. There's everybody. no toilet. I've been watching. Oh, I've been on my project of watching all the Disney animated features. It's a vac tube. Oh. Oh, so it's like a little suction. <laughs> oh, a vacuum right thorax. Butt. I remember that part. 
What? He's like, I gotta evacuate my thorax. Does he say that? Yeah. Oh. And vaguely toilet shaped. Yes, I do remember that now. That was a, it's like the opening sequence of the the thing. Yes. I'm glad I'm glad that I could remind you of wow. this. Wow. Catastrophic. You moment. know that didn't even leave an impression at the time, but now it means a oh, lot. That's more. all I've I, been thinking. It doesn't about. mean anything to me at all. What? Still, Bruce. Bruce. I'm sorry. It doesn't. Do you, and I love Star Wars. Don't you feel more immersed in the world? No, because it's oh. just our life. No, it's different. Um, <laughs> because I don't I know. Saying that. boobs have their own article. You know, you got to know what the difference is. Well, also yeah. we have boobs in Star Wars. You realize mm-hmm. that? If we were in the Star Wars universe, canonically. We have boobs. We have and breasts. you can choose to wear a shirt when you sleep, or you can let your sleep. boobs out when you sleep. You can sleep naked. I've you never felt swim. more like I'm in Star Wars. Yeah, there's a lot of different options, actually. Well, not, now more you than you will. can imagine. Now That's so will. great. That's so great. That's so great. Wow. <laughs> well, thanks, Lawrence, for bringing that for me. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I guess. I don't really know. I want that. I want to be that cat. That's nice. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, I laugh at memes, I feel like a boomer. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you laugh out loud, that's a pretty wholesome laugh. Laugh out loud I mean, that, that was an old laugh. Though. <laughs> you were very defensive, really quick. <laughs> like a boomer. <laughs> oh. yeah. No, like the the youths don't laugh. They yeah, just like just sardonically smirk, scroll yeah. and then roll their eyes. Oh, what, what do they do? You. <laughs> like that's like anime. <laughs> yeah. That's what zoomers do, by the way. They take all their references for what human emotions are, yeah. but they take them from anime. Yep. Mm-hmm. And and Steven Universe. And Steven Universe, which that's arguably right. could be the most. Anime. It's not. I couldn't even finish saying it. Horrible. No. <laughs> Never. Loudly breathe out nose. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, old people breathe loud. You guys ever noticed that? Well, no, that's not old people. That's Zoomer, right? That's a Zoomer scoffing. Zoomers? Oh, okay. Oh. Never mind. Like that. I thought uh, that feels like an old person thing. I have to stop laughing, apparently. <laughs> yeah, no, you, when I laugh, you do I'm, laugh a lot. I'm a boomer. <laughs> no, you. But you, you have an infectious laugh. Yes, it's wonderful. Which is a good thing. But I shouldn't do that. No! If you want to fit in with the Zoomers, you shouldn't laugh. Alright. Bruce, it, the boomers he, got all he the practiced money. an infectious. <laughs> yeah, that was did that mean? I don't know what I'm feeling. It. I mean, no one ever got anything right the first time, Bruce. So don't don't feel <laughs> bad. Keep shooting boogers at your nose. I keep trying. trying to... I, well, I mean, like I got a lot of snot in there. Yeah. What feels better? <clears throat> and there aren't many things, but I'm just gonna throw this in the room. What feels better than digging up in your nose and then like, like brushing something? Getting it and then having a whole iceberg fall out of your nose, oh, it's like the best. everything dislodges, and you're like, oh, I didn't even know my nose wasn't clo- was like all closed up with shit mm-hmm. the ol- right now. The only thing that's better is getting a splinter out. Oh, so got- I've gotten a splinter for years. So when you get the you splinter get out, I should. They're when great. You, when you get it out, it feels like the greatest thing in the world. Ah, oh, it's the best, man. Because it it feels like there's a foreign object inside your body, yeah. and it's gonna be there forever. And, you, you and then you start like I start panicking it. because I'm like I'm like it's gonna be there forever. It's gonna get pushed in further, start and then I'm gonna get poisoned. It's like and so then I like I immediately start trying to, I like literally will dig this. I'll tear the skin off to yeah. make sure I pull it up. Jeez. I uh, I got a story about splinters. Please, please. Uh, so when I was in college, I was I was pretty heavy into kung fu, and I was learning a, a forum for bow staff. Had Whoa, I had and have sick bow staff skills? Yes. Um, ooh, look at this! Someone we know got on Reddit. <gasps> oh, hey, Alana! Oh, look at that! Oh, some beef, some creator zinged. beef, some fucking. <laughs> I love when the creators beef with each other. They're, you know, they're hard beef, and neither of those things are Ring Fit Adventure. So fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> um, I couldn't afford an actual Kung Fu branded bow staff. Mm-hmm. Those are expensive. They are. But I'm thinking. All right. I went to Home Depot. You bought a mop? Got me at no. That was smarter than what I did. Oh. I just found a wooden dowel and had them cut it. Uh, that's all. What? So. Oh, all right. All right. Then I'm like, all right. Okay. Ah, genius thought here. Eight dollars, and I got myself a sick kung fu bow staff. Right. Go out to the parking lot. Uh, put on my my sumisen music. Uh, Wait, what's take that? one sip of, of green tea. Ready for practice. What's Simison music? It's like the really high pitched. Uh, I may have completely mangled. It's like it. nightcore. <laughs> Man, that would be sick though. No, it's uh, it's like <laughs> the mournful like Chinese violin, basically. Oh, oh. I, I expected it was going to be like some anime theme. No, no, it, it it hits you like a. Oh, what did I mean? Shamisen. There we go. Why does yeah. my Chen know that? Because what? you're a weed dog. I'm they, not. I don't watch it. They all watch anime. They appreciate world culture, and you don't. I guess. <laughs> and I do. So clearly, we knew what we were doing. We were we were talking about. Uh, but yeah, I get my player there. I get my tea. I sip it. I karate chop. Or excuse me, kung fu chop one board in half. Okay, ready to go. Did you actually do that? Uh, yeah, actually, all of it's true. 
Um, so <laughs> then there's there's a lot in this form that's just like sliding the staff through your hands and then like slinging it around and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready to go. Do like one hit, two hit, slide. And the first time it oh, slides through, no. just whoosh, oh, like, a, like a cactus a into my palm. Oh, God. And I'm like, that, ah! And I drop it immediately, and then it's just like, it's like a, gosh, just like a fucking polka dots. How many, how many, how many splinters did you have? Did you ever count? <sighs> um, well, like no, because I couldn't get them all out right away. So I went into the kitchen, and I was like, I was picking them out one at a time. But some were like really deep because let me tell you, when I go into kung fu, I go hard. Of course you do. So <laughs> they were in there. Oh yeah. Bad. Uh, and I kind of did what you were talking about. Like I was like cutting the skin open to try to get down into it. Yeah, you have to. And mm -hmm. it was just like it was too deep. So I was like, well, I guess that's there forever. So then I got to, I got to learn what your body does when there's a foreign object in it for more than a day. Wow. Oh. It basically infection. makes a pimple. Uh, yeah, like a, a very small scale like infection. Pushes it out with pus, right? Yeah. Oh. So what happened is like it uh, got kind of red and agitated. Ah. Uh, but then it got a little pus, and, uh, and then I squeezed it and it just went plorp, uh, and just like shot right out. Oh, the splinter? I yeah. hate it. Oh. I hate so it all. like okay. each each one that got lodged in there basically got packed up into a little like pus cannon, and then like a couple of days later, I just squeezed it and it shot right out. So, if I get this right, so this whole thing happened because you're like, I can just make my own of this thing. Yeah. And then I went at to Home Depot point, and bought sandpaper. At what point? Okay. At what point <laughs> did you realize this is why people don't make their own of this thing? It was as soon as I had like run it through my palm and dropped it on yeah, the ground. Like, oh, there you I go. Clattered to the floor in slow motion while there's sham shamisen mournfully droned in the background. Well, had, <laughs> mournfully. That's actually the best image. Had, I like that part. Yeah, I mean, you have to like varnish the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you just have to sand it. Oh, okay. If you, if yeah, if you're gonna use it for years and years and years, I so did you end up try going it again? to. Uh, I did it with that one a couple more times. I would be times. way too scared to do it again. Then I got paid, and then I went to the Kung Fu store. Oh. And then I bought a... How, a real one. Like a wrapped bow staff. How much is a bow staff? Uh, <laughs> the one I got was like 50 bucks. That's not bad. Cause that's I not bad. It's a solid chunk of wood. How much was the wood that you tried to make in the... Like six dollars. No, that's a better deal. It is a better deal. Deal. I mean... I almost... Because I wanted a bow staff when I was a kid. I think I even... I don't know that I had a bow staff. I think a friend of mine had a bow Like a rich friend of mine had a bow staff. And I got to like, you know, where you like twirl it and then it goes over your hand. Oh, <gasps> that's fancy. I got to that part. <laughs> nice. I could do that. That was cool. I could do that with a pencil. That was very cool in class. I just like. Oh, you like roll between like, your fingers? Oh, yeah, you, you're all my that fingers. cool dude in yeah, class. Yeah, well, because I got huge fingers. So I was like able oh. to like, you know, twiddle constantly. And I had, I don't think it really. Did I, it get you any girls? Did not. Oh, I was in all boys school, so it really oh, didn't. I don't know who I was trying to impress, but <laughs> you got to do that, but with a coin. That makes you real. Cool. I did try that for You're a while, in a and I couldn't. Tavern, wearing a hat mm, with goggles on it. A steampunk. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I was with you. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. You just backstab. Sorry, sorry. Well, you, I got yeah, there too fast. You love steampunk. <laughs> all right, guys. You do. You love it. <laughs> Kraken's chat. He loves steampunk, doesn't he? He talks about it. I mean, the chat loves steampunk too, so it's fine. They Everyone's do? fine. Oh, yeah. Man. They knew all about it. I'm going to do this one day. I'm just going to commit to it. I'm going to talk like... What, is steampunk, what do they talk like in steampunk? I think it's, it's like the old, the old yeah, English. It's like Victorian English. It's Victorian English. So it's like 17, 1800s probably. A lot, lot of like unironic miladying going on. Did you ever see the movie mm. Mortal Engines? No. Oh, I need to watch that. Mortal Engines is terrible. Is but, it steampunk? But Mortal Engines is like... I want to say it's like if the steampunk community had gotten a movie, it'd be that. They because did get it. It's a bunch of garbage. Like, it's a bunch of stupid, dumb shit. Wait, Steam... No, there was Wild Wild West. Oh, yeah, Wild Wild West. That's true. Uh, that's that's a good point, actually, as well. But Mortal Engines is, like, futuristic Steam. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, uh, right? Are you in? You're in. I know you are. You love it. You love it. You put that hat and glasses on, you watch it at home. <laughs> the goggles. <laughs> I can't see it. It's uh, all Van red. <laughs> the, uh, Van Helsing. Uh, yeah, the... Uh, the Hugh Jackman one? Yeah, that's totally steampunk. Parts there's of it are. Like, yeah. like when lightning powers shit and there's yeah. steams. Well, that's firing Frankenstein. Firing. That's Frankenstein, yep. I mean, like, well, that's but, but like Mortal Engines is like a bunch of dumb, stupid shit powered by dumb, stupid steam engines. Sure. <laughs> right? So that's just, that's like the definition of steampunk. So, what, do you hate trains now, guys? I mean, trains are steampunk. Eh. You if know? they go into space, okay. They're, they go underground, a little bit better, I but. I don't think that most trains are not train powered by steam. Like, you know that, right? Older trains. Stupid. Yeah, but not now. I'm sure some trains are still powered by steam. Uh, maybe one or two. But like Amtrak's aren't powered by steam, are okay. they? Are they no. powered by electricity? They're not powered by steam, yeah. What are they powered by? Probably electricity. No, it can't be electricity, is it? There's gotta be Magnus. a couple of steam trains left. It's probably, it's probably just fuel. 
What are we thinking? What of are we using steam for? It's a dude running on a treadmill in the back. <laughs> Where did steam go? Obviously, the, obviously well, steam it's is not efficient. Over. It's inefficient. Why? Looks cool. No, it doesn't. It does. Eh, Big it. white billowing smokes. No, that's not good. For no. Not do you want to? Do you want to be a train guy when you get older? You wanna I wanted to be a conductor when I was a kid. Oh, oh dear. That's no. probably where I like. So you get like I'm, 80, I'm more... You're gonna put on your vest. You're gonna put on your little conductor hat. You're yeah. gonna go down. Yep, that's your train. You're gonna go into your prop closet or whatever. Yeah. And you're just gonna look at your little train driving around a tiny right. city yep. Yep. for hours. I think I had a train set when I was a kid. So you know. Weird. How is that weird? It's just it doesn't happen. It's gonna have anymore. hobbies. We've all moved. I mean, yeah, but it's we've all moved on. I was a kid. I did. I did love trains. It's like you're practicing to be a weird. But I was too poor to have trains, um, and and so every year I would go to my uh, uncle's house. Okay, and he had this like really really nice house in Glendale, and he'd always put out this al- really elaborate train set. I loved playing with it, but I only got to play with it one time a year, and it wasn't mine. How do you play with it? So like they were electric trains that you could um, add different cars to. Uh-huh. You could make it go faster or slower. You okay. could change the tracks to make it like go you know through a tunnel or like you know around the Christmas tree or whatever. Okay. Um, and that was fun. I just imagine a kid like he goes, "Yay!" That's kind of what it is. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. yeah! It's still here. That's, that's kind of what it is. <laughs> yeah. To be honest with you, like eventually, it's all make believe, dude. It's like okay, it's pulling into the station. Everyone get on board, and you say, "We're leaving now." And <laughs> Wait, leaves so and it goes around. Oh, so it's like the again. Sims, except nothing yeah, actually moves. It on does the Sims, but nothing moves except for the train. Yo, why isn't there a Sims augmented reality like they have for Minecraft? You know, like that thing where you like oh, look and there's Minecraft, Minecraft Earth. Around? Yeah. Oh Why yeah. don't they have that for the Sims where they can sell you a house and then you like just a little look at baby it. house? Yeah. Yeah. Like a, like a little like Sims a toy house. You go in there. there. That's a great idea. Oh. Look go at all these ideas. Go, Red Bull, uh, get at me. Tell EA. Red, Red Bull. God. Red Bull owns IP to The Sims now, actually. Yeah, they do. As of today, they just bought it. Once I talk to him, yeah. I'm going to make my case. <laughs> they could have, like, you're right, let's go buy it right now. Oh, you come with us. Get in the car. Such a good idea. <laughs> get in the train, and they go, <laughs> see it <you> over. <laughs> it's just us in Kraken's basement. <laughs> Role playing with goofy voices. I guess, yeah, that's pretty much what Twitch is. It's yeah. just abstracted. So, Kraken loves trains and steampunk. <sighs> that's the same thing. It's just the. It's just the, no. It's different. I mean, trains are just the the origin of steampunk, right? Holy shit, that's fucking awesome. That's um, pretty cool. Trains are the origin of steampunk. Yes, you are correct. Okay, so if I like trains, that's and right. I still I still find trains kind of fun. I I am not as predisposed to hate steampunk. I do think it's not. I'm not saying great you aesthetically. Hate, I don't. I don't hate steampunk. Yeah. I'm just saying that maybe don't focus your entire life on it. <laughs> Well, it's all right. It's a hobby. It's okay. It's a hobby. No big deal. I got a uh, got bad news for you. I'm oh. actually quitting the, the biz. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm founding a steampunk convention called uh, Google Steampunk Convention right now. I mean, there's already oh, seven. Oh, no, you're of right. Them. Are no, there I seven mean, of them. You, you yeah, can make another one. It's, it's fine. I just wanted to see steampunk some. Steampunk I'm sure. I just want to see yeah. some photos of people having a good time. That's all I want to see. Steampunk. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, I what, took what, my what, idea. Oh, uh, it already passed though. Well, I'm sure they do that every year, right? It was in New Jersey. Um, Let's look for some pictures. There's got to be a sizzle reel or something, yeah. Uh, Let's look at some fucking entertainment? events and gears. Panels and presenters? No. Bands and performers. That's absolutely all. About us. Oh, hey, hey, yeah. Bands and performers is what yeah, you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see what the steampunk... Stabbing folk... westward? Hell yeah! That's where they went. Of course. Fuck yeah. Oh, man. It's just Whoa. a chemical straitjacket. Nice. Wow. Sick! Valentine is... Wolf, that could be you, Kraken. Look at that dude! With that cool electric cello. Oh, he loves trains. <laughs> Man. God, that I'm under attack right now. Victorian I, chamber hey, metal. I'm tapping out. <laughs> you guys no, win you're this not. one, Keep okay? No, <laughs> uh, You guys win this one. Ooh, dust bowl fairies. Oh. Adorns. Minimalist, dark wave, black, blacker. Nice. Jesus. Nice. This feels like a, uh, a, um, a, uh, dark uh, reverence. No, oh. I always forget the name of this game. Um, Hypnospace Outlaw. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Webpage. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it feels like. There's not as many, uh, like, three frame GIFs pulsating in every corner. I want you to read this from 2012. Read Thanks it. to everyone who came out last night for a bloody good time. And muchos, muchísimas gracias uh, to Latin Horror. Again, not making fun of this by any stretch of the imagination. Like, if you're doing this, it's okay. It's totally fine. Vampire Con's in Enjoy LA. Enjoy Vampire Con or Steam Of course, Con. This is like... Nice. I'd say this but in Seattle. Or there right. are parts of your yeah. nerddom that all are the, that are ridiculous and funny. in Seattle because it's dark all the time. Just or like, San Francisco, like uh, Interview of the Vampire. Just like me. 
there are parts of my nerddom that are ridiculous and funny. When I had to throw away 60 Star Wars books that I read. You didn't mm. have to. That's stupid. Well, that's true. Um, that's stupid. Like, like, I can't believe I, I spent all my time reading those 60 Star Wars books. And then threw them in the trash. Um, <laughs> but it's funny. It's funny. It's like it's like when Joel went to Vampire Con. It's the same deal. Yeah, everyone's got to have a uh, like a guilty pleasure. They have right? a guilty pleasure, right? Exactly. Like uh-huh. I loved Fall Out Boy. I still do for years. No, yeah, they're great. Fall Boy's good. And but people would make fun of me because I love Fall Out Boy, which is okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Let's go rumble. <laughs> Let's go rumble. Yeah, the Fall Out Boys will take care of this. It's all right though. Again, we're not saying that if anybody out there, I don't want anybody to feel like they're convicted. Because they love steampunk. Go love steampunk. Love it to your heart's content. Mm. Yeah. I think you should. <laughs> oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, How do you feel, Bruce, about... Mm, acknowledge... Mm, I, I don't mean this about steampunk. <laughs> All right. But let's say you're into something and you know it's off the beaten path. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's reasonable to accept a little... Like, to just... Be, oh, my God. To just be okay with getting a couple of jabs every now and then, just because the thing, like, absolutely, is it, he'd be absolutely. like, ah, yeah, I'm a weirdo, ah, all right, totally fine. Or do you think everyone should be cool with everything as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else? You, you know who? Do, I mean, like, we should all be cool with it, but also we're a lot. It's it's okay if we get made fun of a little bit. Mm-hmm. We make fun. Yeah, like, it keeps you humble. Like, it's like it's like Jacob. When, oh when gosh, Jacob loves he loves Star Wars more than anybody I know, and uh, he also loves Destiny more than anybody I know. And so when he talks about those things. He knows. He's very, very keenly aware of how ridiculous it sounds when he talks about it. But he still loves it. So he knows he makes fun of himself, but at the same time, he still loves it. He's still going to do it. Mm-hmm. That's okay. That's all right. Those things are allowed. Uh, it's, I, I, I'm not. I would never try and cyber bully someone into not liking something, because I think it's cool when people like. Yeah. It. Oh, 100 percent. I'm on the same boat. Uh, Comic Con's my favorite time of year when I get to go to Comic Con because it's 300,000 people that all love. The, basically the same shit that I do and we're all into it and it's all like yeah. it's just we're all united it's really cool it's really cool to be in, in communities like that so I don't I don't want anybody to think that we're like yeah I like the shitting on them the super mm-hmm. niche communities too like you know I like this specific interpretation of this canon like yeah. mm-hmm. you know I'm a Star Wars fan but specifically only <laughs> this like part of the universe I don't the rest of it's not canon to me Sorry, I believe what you mean, or believe everything you're saying, but holy what the hell? crap. I don't know why he did that. <gasps> did he not think about the pipes there? Oh, man. <sighs> oh, man. That's intense. That's intense, but I love it. But yes. That's an oof. You're right, Kraken. I, uh... Wait, Kraken was talking, right? Or Lawrence? What? Yeah, it was Kraken. <laughs> was talking. Kraken. That's what I thought. I was like, oh, no, did I take it wrong? Nah. Either way, you're absolutely right. It's okay to like what you like. Just don't let it take over your life. <laughs> Fair. Mo- moderation. Everything in moderation. I think that's excellent advice. I also think that at a certain stage in your development, it will take over your life. Well, yeah, you're right. When mm-hmm. you're like yeah. developing self-identity, everyone sort of latches on to something. Totally. And, uh, as like, as I think it is important to like reinforce, like, hey, maybe mellow out. Be into mm-hmm. some. Be into several things. Please don't pin your entire personality and existence on one thing. Yeah. Uh, I think it's only natural for. Hopefully a, a short phase, but there to be a phase in life where you do kind of go through that because you're still trying to figure out who you are. That's true. Yeah, it's it's interesting to see that that thing happen, but then like uh, through the lens of other things, uh, or as time goes on, and then to like see that happen, and maybe other people don't think that the person that it is yelling at them might be twelve, and going through that. Mm, yeah, true. The, the person yelling about Star Wars or their specific interpretation they're super into, they might be eleven. Um, that may just be the most important thing to them on yeah, the planet. That's where they're at right now. Oh, God, I wish um, not. It's it's fascinating because like it, it that does beg another topic of like is anonymity important on the internet? Mm. I think it's pluses and negatives. It's interesting to think about. I, I don't really. I'm not going anywhere with that. That was it. No, yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I, th- I think that I I'm kind of all for more people uh, acknowledging their identity on the internet and saying who they are mm. because I think with anonymity comes a lot of t- uh, toxicity. It, I, I really yeah, do. Yeah, but really it also do. opens up a lot of vulnerability that people aren't necessarily comfortable with. And yeah, that's well, that and that's kind of what I mean. Is you like, you, you, you want to get away with that? I mean, well, like, I, no, I, I, I don't want people to. So like, yeah, because what it does is it gives people carte blanche to say whatever the fuck they want. So that's, and, yeah. and again, free speech, you can totally say it. But when you're when you're free speeching in the pub, in public, right? You're outdoors. They can look you in the face. Mm. They know who you are. 
But when you're just yeah. on the internet. I mean, I think in the perfect world, and if everyone shared our same views, then yeah, I'd agree with you. But I think it's not that, unfortunately. And so, you know, if you're very open about like, oh, hey, I'm a 12 year old and this is like, you know, my second year on the internet and I am obsessed with it. Um, like, please don't bully me. Like, people are gonna <laughs> bully you. Like, <laughs> you're kind of right there. I mean, well, you learn that right away, though. But like, I mean, I started my YouTube channel when I was 14. I didn't like make it clear that I was a kid until like at least three years in, and I didn't use my voice at all yeah. because I knew if I did, then people would like you know not watch well, me. Or that's they, what I'm saying. You knew. You knew. You mm. were aware. Well, yeah. So I I opted for anonymity. Oh sure, yeah, but but I'm well. I guess what I'm saying is, well, you're different though. You're a content creator, and yeah. I, I, this is this is more of I'm I'm like anybody can go anywhere and say anything, and that's totally fine. Again, but maybe own up to what you say. Huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I definitely agree with owning up to what you say. Yeah. Like, um, but I think nowadays, like the the line between content creator and just like because everyone curates their own brand and, and personality, just kind of like no, that's true. you know on your Twitter or on your. Whatever I can't think about Instagram, I don't know. Well, all the social media is like yeah, starting to sound like a boomer over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever they are on nowadays, everyone's like you know whatever you like is is curated. You know, it's like that's that's part of who you are, and people that follow you are gonna you know be along for that ride. So no, you're right. Um, you're right. Well, it's uh, this is an important lesson that I've thought many times about. I will teach my kids about the internet, which is whatever you say on the internet is going to live forever. So imagine that everything you put on the internet, whether or not it's a YouTube comment or it's Twitter, which in 15 years it won't be, but whatever you put out there is there forever. And if it gets deleted and it goes away forever, you're lucky. You you are lucky. Um, and that's something that I don't know why I learned that early on on the internet, but it's totally true. Mm -hmm. And and also like people are growing up on the internet now, so they get they they literally mature and they get better at who they are on yeah. the, on the internet. Um, but I don't know that in this culture right now, people are allowed to do that. I'm not sure that they're allowed. Yeah, there's definitely, I think, and I think it's getting better. I think kind of this, this upcoming, like the Zoomer generation, um, is like, I mean, I'm, I'm like on the border of that in many ways. So I don't even know if I can. If You're I'm, not a Zoomer. Yeah, I am. I'm like, I'm a 1994. So I'm like oh, within a year. A Zoomer. Yeah, it is. Generation Z is like 95, I think. Look, look it up. We had this conversation like, uh, like a week ago. Because. Autumn was born in 94 as well. Uh oh. She's not a Zoomer. Are you sure, Bruce? I'm positive. No, no, no. We both talk about how we're millennials. I'll show you. What are the years for it? Mid to late 1990s. Yep. I don't know that 94. I'm like, I'm on the cusp. I, I guess, that. yeah, that could be considered just the cusp oh. of mid. I don't know about that one. Crikey, you're no Zoomer. 95. See, 95 is <clears throat> one. You are no Zoomer. Hold on. Let's look at Millennials as well. I, I'm, I told you, I'm like within a year. That's not... That means you're Millennial. Okay, I, I accept know. that, but... <laughs> I guess I guess I think for you it's like... I said it's the 1996. To me, to me, Gen Z means that you have no recollection of pre-internet society. Which I could see being born in oh, 94 yeah, yeah. is pretty, pretty yeah. valid. No, I do have... <clears throat> yeah, no, I, I think I think you're right about that because I do I do have. That's some... how I divide it in my head. So yeah, yeah, so with 1981 to 1996, a widely accepted definition. Okay. So oh, there's a, you're, by this you're definition, on the cusp of that. You yeah. would say you're millennial, but you, then I, that's, that's all I said. All I said was the cusp, and you. Uh, I think you qualify. You, said, as both. you, you were trying to claim millennial, I, I was and not. You cannot claim both. I have dual citizenship. <laughs> you cannot. I I do. You cannot claim both. <laughs> you are not allowed. Either you're a millennial. I mean, or you're a zoom. First, we're we're on the. Old and a millennial. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, we are. So it's like you are on the Gen cusp X. of. Can't be. We are, but I'm a millennial. <laughs> but uh, yeah. he's so quick to defend. <laughs> I know that's the joke. That's that's what yeah. that's <laughs> part of, of being a, like of doing that. Even though I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I'm nowhere close to boomer. But as soon as somebody says you're a boomer and you defend, you no, no, I'm not a boomer. <laughs> Well, I've entirely lost my original point. Yeah, what was your original point? <laughs> I don't remember. I, I'm sorry. I, I think I it was. Uh, no, it's perfectly okay. I think you're right. I, I had to be called out on this because if I if I claimed one more time to be a zoomer, I would be. Uh, Are you telling me you're a zoomer? I'm not. I'm saying I have dual citizenship. I am a honorary zoomer. Chad, is he lying to you? Sounds well, like he's lying. that means you need you need a consortium of zoomers to sign off on you, then, right? I yeah. Sput is in my mind the zoomer ambassador. He is, he's the spokesperson for all Zoomers. I think identifying his, his, older his username on our Discord is just Zoomer. He's a, right. definitely a Zoomer. He is the de the definition of a Zoomer. I think he, it's like, you can claim older, but if you want to buy into a younger group, they have to say it's okay. 
So like, okay. if I were to say yeah. I'm a Zoomer, I would need, I would need a, like fifty thousand signatures to to be accepted yeah. into that community. Um, and I think it scales up the older you get. So totally, totally. If I were sixty and say I'm a Zoomer, I'd have to have basically everyone on the planet sign off on that one. Um, but that could be done. I mean, you could be. A Z- I mean, it's an ongoing struggle. It's not like there's one. You're officially now a Zoomer. You have to con- you have to work at it every oh day. Oh every day. Oh, really? you, gotta you, gotta it. you can achieve Zoomer. You got to uphold the standards of a Zoomer every day I if got, you want to be considered one. I, mean, I, I got to stop a, laughing I have so undercut. much. Undercut. That's I, a Zoomer cut. Yeah, you're you're already losing points here. I got to stop laughing so much. There's there's too much. There's Zoomers don't laugh. We already established that. Yeah, Zoomers don't laugh. Wait, no, I thought it was. Wait, do millennials laugh? Um, we know we talk about millennials. Millennials Zoomers laugh. Millennials don't really have any. They're just kind of sad. We're just dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Buried in debt. But There's no. You can't laugh because all the air is being forced out of your lungs yeah. all the time. Well, and Zoomers, they just do. <laughs> That's it. That's all they do, right? <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure. I'm going to work at being a Zoomer. I got to talk to Sput more often. Yeah. No. Well, it's. But he, you know, I've been I've been having weekly calls with him where he educates me on whatever is new. But the Zoomer path hasn't can... been laid yet. Like. It's if, actively, we're watching it happen. We're watching if, it okay happen. Boomer is a Zoomer meme. That's true, but like, I, yeah, that's a good point. But like, if, if college loan debt gets forgiven across the board, that's going to mm. change everything. That'll yeah. change all the Zoomers. Yeah, yeah, it'll change all the Zoomers. The millennials, like, some of, some of us, like, worked our asses off. Uh, I, I didn't mean to imply that if you have debt, you didn't by any stretch. But oh, like, no, yeah. I feel like there is uh, the generational hallmark of the Boomers kind of getting, or sorry, the millennials getting fucked by the system as it was, like, laid for you. Um... Zoomer, that could still change. Sorry, I'm getting. Uh, I just want to make sure you don't knock over that Red Bull into no, my it's, computer. No, it's empty. Oh, good. Okay. How did you? What did you finish there. that? I've just been sipping on it. I didn't notice. He knocked it out. Once. You know quiet, why? Quiet He's a Zoomer. He's a very quiet drink. He's a Zoomer. Yeah, we get those energy drinks down. Uh, you got to be efficient. Somebody in your chat said something about Zoomer. Damn it. Oh yeah, that's use, all they're saying. Use TikTok more. Do you? Are you on oh, TikTok? I'm not. Ooh, are you on TikTok? So Mark, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I, I'm on I TikTok. love TikTok, I have, though. I haven't they, posted, they've been but I good. look at it a lot. I'm on TikTok all the time. That means I'm a Zoomer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can self-declare. Why not? Because I just self-declared, and you gave me shit for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> all right, well, hold on. So then, who knights Zoom? So, like... Again, which, it's the generate The only, council. Yeah, the council of Zoomers. Which, which council? Who's in the, who's in the council? Sput. <laughs> That's the only one I figured out so far. The rest are... are their identities We're clear. not going to tell you. I would say Sput, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez? She no, she's little definitely little a millennial. Older. Yeah. Billie Eilish. It, Billie, Billie Eilish. Eilish. Billie yeah. Eilish. Come on. Billie Eilish. She doesn't L- even know Lil who Van Halen is. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, Lil Nas X, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I guess every... <laughs> oh, jeez. Every rapper that OD'd, I guess they... they oh, yeah. They got like a... Juice World, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, they've got a they got a banner hung up for all of them. And a lot of empty empty seats at that table. I'm trying to think. I uh, Temptation. Yeah. Yeah. Man, those are some good Jake ones. Paul. Jake Oof. Paul. I don't, think Jake, Jake, no. I don't think Jake Paul's... No, he's younger than me. He led them. Oh, is he? He is. Oh. Okay. Um, but Ninja's the honorary Zoomer. That's true. No, Ninja's not he? a Zoomer. Well, he's no, no, no. He's he's the older one that you know the new Zoomer generation looks at at like as like the old yeah the old guard you the know old Zoomer yes. They're he's like the old the old talent that they all aspire yeah. to. He at leads some point. them. He's, yeah, he's exactly. the Pied Piper of the Zoomers. He's the pi- he's, that is it. He's the Pied Piper. <laughs> okay, we we're, we're getting closer to the council. We have Billy <laughs> Ninja's the Pied Piper. We have Eilish. We've got Lil Nas. Uh, Spud. Spud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have you met Spud Lawrence? I don't know if you, sp- you met Spud. No, I have not. Spud's you, definitely a, he's a I don't he's like a his character. name, though. 100%. Um, I don't think Keanu, guys, Keanu can't no, be. Greta Thurnberg, yeah. Thurnberg is in there. Right? Yeah, 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 Greta yeah. definitely. Absolutely. Greta Thunberg definitely She's is. on the younger end of Zoomer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, man, who else, who else would be on the Zoomer council? Oh, man. There's, a, I mean, like... Frankie yeah. Muniz is he? Who's like the top Frankie like TikTok? Muniz. He's, he's old. Yeah, he's yeah. like forty-five. Yeah. But, uh, Finn Wolfhard. There you go. Uh, and uh, Millie, Finn, Millie yeah. Bobby Brown. Oh, everybody oh, from yeah. Stranger Things. The entire Stranger Things cast. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of do a they slanted. They have one seat, or do yeah. they have? Do they have to like? They all, choose who goes. Yeah, every week? they all have to. <laughs> Tom, Tom Holland. Yeah, is he a Zoomer? Tom hmm. Holland. Interesting. Zendaya. She's up there. Oh yeah, Zendaya. Yeah, Zendaya. Zendaya. Excuse me. Zendaya for sure. Michi. Is Tom Holland? Born oh. 1996. No, he's, he's a millennial. Ouch. Oh, no, wait. Just barely. He's on the cusp, too. Barely. I mean, but Zendaya is like the same age, right? Uh, I think you're right. I think Zendaya is the same age. Yeah. Mm. They were born almost. A- I don't know wow. who Zendaya is. 
Spider-Man. You're a boomer. Yeah. Ouch. How does that make me a boomer? Also, also Euphoria and HBO. Yeah. Come okay. on, bro. Michi. Look, just because I'm not watching traditional media you're, every day... You're a boomer. ...doesn't mean I'm not... Traditional media. <laughs> Actually, that means you're more of a Zoomer than Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You don't even don't, watch Marvel I, movies. I, Too I, young for it. Yeah, Marvel's <laughs> old news, guys. I, I watch new Blue's Clues, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we should stop there. Apparently, everyone's thirsty about the new Blue's Clues guy. What? 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 What's up, man? Who's everyone? All... All of us. All the Zoomers. <laughs> we all decided. Really? Oh, Whoa, yeah. okay. Well, that's yeah. the second picture. Oh, there yep. you go. Yeah, no, the pictures got out. No, you think he's a hottie that's very flattered. Well, that's nice. That's, that's, from his, that's his definition. That that's, from, that's, from, that's from August, you boomer. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's old news, dude. Get old with news, it. bro. I mean, old news for some. Pictures don't age, though. Yeah, we, like we said, everything's on the internet forever. Forever. Don't ever forget it. Mm -hmm. Like this podcast will be. Somebody in, in your chat was like, they commented and said, this comment's going to disappear and it won't. You, yeah. You, know, you go back and watch logged. this VOD. But the VODs disappear. And so chat goes with it, right? No. Because if I click on his name, there's a, a there's a uh, moderator application. I don't know if you have this. You can actually scroll back and see every comment that person's ever made. Yeah, but. Um but so VODs only stay on Twitch for like 60 days or something like that? Sure. So once the VOD goes away. No, nope, the comment sure. stays tied to their account. So right now, I can click on any one of you little fucks <laughs> and I could see what you've been saying about me. It's starting to sound like a boomer. <laughs> Is it across all videos they've ever commented on? Every, yeah, every single stream. Look at them, look at them all. Uh, they're in, scared. In our stream. Oh, my gosh. oh yeah, they're scared. They, because they know what they've been saying. They're called out, damn. Yeah. All right, well, I got to remember that. All right. Everybody remember everything you say is on the internet forever. And we're going to hold it against you. On the internet forever, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>